There Jesus was Christ. no government request in. to censor the the Hunter Biden original story. There were a few requests that were put in to delete specific tweets, not about the Hunter Biden story. It was just pictures of Hunter Biden's. C I feel like you should concede on having been an investigator. Ch Ch Cherry, chill. Cherry, Jesus. I've had f people murdered in my f arms. You f dumb. C Shut your f mouth. Oh, okay. Um, my dad died. I'm sorry, it's getting late. I want to fight. Causing chaos. Well, counterpoint. Oh, do you, do you, oh, yeah, counterpoint I was about to say, is here. You... Oh, did you bring a tweet finally that vindicated your perspective <laughs> yesterday? Oh, <laughs> does it have to be new, you f Cole? Yeah, like, oh, it's a I new piece of information because I thought the Twitter leaked for his story. I came here to wish you a f happy birthday so I could get my d right in, but oh. apparently we're not allowed yeah. to. Yeah, so. well, I'm glad. I, for my birthday present, You're I wanted to see late. one new tweet that revealed something that we didn't know before already about Twitter. Well, okay. Well, then I guess. Um, did you? Well, did you already know <laughs> that we're we're gonna play this game? I guess. Uh -huh. um, that fucking about DHS Factorio. and FBI were okay. DHS and FBI were having weekly f meetings, and uh, with uh, with the Twitter head honchos. Uh, I, we didn't know that explicitly, but yeah, that's almost obvious. I'm willing. Then to it's bet new, bitch. Ah, just because it's not interesting doesn't mean it's not new. So suck it. I wouldn't. Wait, do you think they were acting? Anything. Do you think they were acting in a way that was improper? I don't know. I wasn't. Those <laughs> okay. Well, I, oh, I, I, I rest my case. <laughs> <laughs> this guy. All right. Well, I rest my case. Well, rest these nuts. No, I mean, dude. If you so actually, I did have a, a kind of post uh, and after. If you wanted to get into it, I didn't want to distract fully for the conversation. By the way, Warhammer Forty K bo makes both these pussy ass fucking nerd universes look like shit. Ooh. Um, but who cares about space orcs, dude? Chill. Lots of people care about space orcs. The Empire <laughs> so, would curb stomp the Imperium. People yeah, that sit in their house and paint minis for eight hours. Here, yeah, that's sure. just demonstrably false. But uh, yeah, if we actually wanted to do the after action report. Um, so the the after action report that I had, my editor is a pretty big tech guy. He at, at least swears by the information that he gave me, which is the fact that the algorithm isn't intelligent enough in order to dis, uh, disassociate between like uh, you know conservative content and progressive content. So that would mean that any of the bans or throttling or whatever would have to be manual. Uh, I do think okay, that we. I'm did... sorry. Just as a real quick thing, whoever sure. told you that has no idea about anything. The depths you, of stupidity. You, you can drag him on right now if you want. I would bet my entire life. I bet that I could learn fucking oh, Python no. and write an algorithm to differentiate between conservative and progressive content in like two oh, weeks. Oh, no. What? Oh, no, 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 no. <laughs> bring him on. We need the content. You can bring Come him on. on I, in. I, I am a million percent <laughs> confident in that statement. What a stupid fucking statement to make. Oh, no. He wants to come on. <laughs> sure, drag him on. All right. What's his up, name? Dude. Tell him to join... Um, Tell me to join. Uh, uh, what do we got? Um, General Lobby Two, and I'll drag him in. Oh no! He says you, the it's algorithm my... isn't intelligent. He enough? thinks that you couldn't write an algorithm to differentiate between conservative and progressive content. Like that. Uh, when it comes to hold on, hold on, hold on. Let let me specify because he'll probably defend himself a little bit more specifically than that. When it came to a certain topic, so for instance, if you had like race realism. And then uh, there was a there was a progressive who was talking about race realism, or there was a conservative talking about race realism. The YouTube algorithm wouldn't be uh, independently functional enough to differentiate whether or not it was a conservative talking about the topic or whether or not it was a progressive talking about the topic. Do you have contention with that perspective? Yeah, you you could do it. I'm pretty confident you could do it. Okay. Oh wait, All he's right. talking so he's... about this. He's referring to a particular tweet. Okay, let's see what the actual tweet is that's being referred to. All right, hold on. <clears throat> Where is he? Uh, oh god, what is Destiny's all room, T4, T3, T2, T1. What uh, are those like Trump and objects uh, to Twitter censorship? I didn't like I'm in general movies. general lobby too. I don't think I have perms to drag him in, right? His name's uh Taze Grove. Taze Grove. General Lobby, too. Yeah, I see it. There we go. All right, Taze. You you fight. <laughs> hey, how's it going? Okay, I'm... Yeah, I'm already gonna... 
defend myself from the way that you're describing this. Okay. Oh, okay. Backstab me. Great. <laughs> no, Sweet. because Thanks. I, I, I tried to explain this and I told you that I could have gone further in depth into specific parts of it. I'm not necessarily like some poli sci genius who can explain like the in depth algorithms. But if we're going to talk about like how these algorithms are designed, they're not developed in order to be able to differentiate between a lot of these contents. Uh, they're mainly going to have uh, a specific al algorithm driven for retention and click through and viewership. So they're not going to necessarily build that algorithm to like restrict certain very specific topics based on very specific keywords, especially when we're talking about like certain different platforms, all those sorts of things. Like it's just not how they're done. So like the idea that they're just like um, tamping down on conservative content across the board, like it's just not, it's not happening. This isn't my debate. Um, well, isn't this completely in opposition to everything you were saying? Yeah. Uh, yeah, I can't. This is what happened okay, yesterday, yeah. by this the way. I start I start forwarding like a micro point and you're like, I won. And it's like, no, motherfucker. Like we got one point in. Well, no, hold on. To be clear, yesterday, all I wanted was some tweet that showed some oh. novel type of like coordination with the government to suppress conservatives. That's what I was curious about. And because that's that what feels like a goal. That feels like a goal post shift right there. Okay, if you that, like, want, I very clearly at the very beginning of our conversation laid out very uh, precisely exactly what I was looking for. I'll say it again for the seventh time. The claim has always been that conservatives you, are being censored uh, because they're conservatives. And was there any evidence of that? The answer was no. Okay, and I brought up the fact to repeat myself for the fiftieth time mm -hmm. that basically there are subcategories of discussion that conservatives engage in that progressives do not that leads to them getting f by the tos yeah but and nobody that, nobody is denying obvious. that that's ever been happening like if you okay, go on so do you, do you want to take it to the more interesting conversation then because we could just we could like circle jerk each other like we did yesterday um or uh, what we could do is move to the broader conversation of what do you think would actually be like the more positive way to engage with contentious to uh, topics in the in the public forum? Like, should these things be not moderated and then they should just be demonetized? Should they, you know, like, like how do we have these difficult conversations that basically conservatives feel like are being suppressed? Um, yeah, that's what I would say. Okay, the, and then this is actually, this is where the things were, I hope fucking DGG didn't jerk themselves off too fucking raw. But apparently, after I left, the conversation was like, Connor thinks that conservatives are being suppressed. What a fucking retard. But then if we talked about how to deal with contentious issues, you and I are in lockstep. So is that... But that's not the Relatively issue. true? The issue has been conservatives jerking themselves mm -hmm. off that like... Elon's leaks revealed some huge new thing, but they didn't. Nothing huge or new was revealed. If okay. I can, like... Yeah, go ahead. So, go ahead. one of the biggest things that was, like, frustrating for me watching externally as well was that I know, like, speaking to Connor, he isn't necessarily defending that take. In fact, he's been going after people on Twitter, especially when right-wingers are saying, like, oh, we gotta lock him up, you know, prosecute him. And he's just saying, like, what's the fucking charge? Like, what are you talking about? There's nothing to charge it. Like... The problem is that Connor isn't defending those things. He wants to have the other esoteric conversation. And that's where it was like, shit, I, like, there's things that we would like to talk about surrounding it. But, like, we're not defending the idea that, like, there is um, actually some massive, you know, um, okay, shadow ban. That's or what Elon suppression. has been saying. And that's what conservatives yes. are acting like. So I was just curious sure, if sure. any evidence of that actually came out. That's what I was curious about. Yeah, okay, and I just so, don't think either of us defend that or would like forward that. Oh, okay. well, I'll speak that's for yourself because cool. I'll good. get myself in trouble. <laughs> so, okay, so, okay, yeah, Jesus. Okay, so let, let nothing me, new is nothing new or historic or important was leaked from the from the show. Then okay, I'm okay. Okay, so so what what do you want to so so hold on so let let's let's break this down slow since we're having this conversation again. So historic, would you say that it's historic that a conservative, in order to open up the Overton window, spent forty four billion fucking that's dollars? That's not what this conversation is about. There's nothing to do that's with the conversation about. I'm having because I'm a human being who's talking to you. In my opinion, matters just as much as yours, Mister Fucking Millionaire Dickbag. This is what I want to talk about. Okay. What's the so Overton window? The Overton window is like what is acceptable to talk about. Yeah, and we can't even talk about the JQ or race realism okay. or anti-vax talking points or how gay people are groomers on Twitter without getting banned. It's like 1984. True. Okay. So anyways, so the, the point being, 
Well, and there, that actually opens up its own set of can of worms. But anyways, so the point being that is that historically significant? Is that culturally important? Is this a yeah, huge I'd moment so. in the fucking yeah. thing? Would you say the Overton window is shifting to the right a little bit because one of the big fucking social media companies has been bought out by this guy? Sure, but one of the big points of him buying it out was we were going to finally figure out where the corruption laid with the Hunter Biden and everything. And it seems like all the stuff that got released, there was no corruption. Everything functioned as it probably should have. Okay. Um, see any Let, major decisions. Let's, yeah. So let, let's get into that because maybe the Hunter Biden thing, we could actually find things that we disagree with with information nope, not, that's publicly you're gonna say available. Because that, you're going to say that you didn't look at it and you're not familiar with any of it. And then you're going to, and then we're going to. No, I'll say, I, no, I looked at it when it first came out. Oh, okay. Why would, so why would basically this story, which is of political relevance during the election cycle be deemed misinformation or hacked materials it was deemed hacked materials because there were pictures of hunter biden's cock posted that had not okay so what's the definite if you want to get esoteric about or fucking the definition Raleigh of hacked definitional materials about was fucking, somebody uh -huh. got access to a stash of pictures that were very personal that somebody didn't want published and they published them okay and then basically see here's the thing twitter doesn't even agree with you because even in their in internal definitions or internal conversations they were talking about how they were stretching the fuck out of that policy in order to make the hunter biden uh story fit that there was and not only that they were stretching the fuck out of it at the behest of government officials that's in do the you want to bet ten thousand dollars on that claim because there was no, not a I'm not single fucking rich enough for ten thousand bucks. Do you, you want to bet a hundred like no, a normal we can person? Ten dollars. I'm sorry. Hold on. Ten dollars. No, we can do a hundred. No, no, no. I'm not that poor. There Jesus was Christ. no government request Island. to censor the the Hunter Biden original story. There were a few requests that were put in to delete specific tweets, not about the Hunter Biden story. It was just pictures of Hunter Biden's cock. So why did they fucking slow down? Like it was either NY Post or fucking uh, New York Times or whoever the fuck it was who had a story and they literally like removed it. Because and then the they NY put in fucking Post, qualifiers because for the it. NY, and they fucking algorithmically fucking slowed because it down. Because the NY Post one that came out, there was a lot of internal contention over whether or not it counted as hacked materials. That's what the internal debate was over. They didn't know Hunter, if it was, it was authentic. Just government internal. Officials no government official had that. any opinion about it at all. Can somebody link the exact tweet where, um, was it, is it Barry Weiss? Whoever the fuck literally says there was zero, there was, or I'm sorry, there was no evidence of government. Somebody just link me the exact that, that tweet. That was Matt Taibbi in the Matt first Matt Taibbi, one. yeah. Can somebody just link me that exact tweet? I think it was tweet number 13. <laughs> yeah, can I just link me that exact tweet? Yeah, I can just read it to you word for word. To it. Yes, okay. Somebody please Honor, just link me that exact what tweet. Government, while they're doing that, what government official would be advocating in 2022 to get rid of leaks about hunter biden Biden's not get right rid now. of slow it down okay i thought twitter thing. independently concluded that they it had the markings of russian misinformation they did. that was why they decided to apply the policy not for sure but that they suspected that so, it might so be. does that does that not show that it fucking well, like right there that there's no fucking consistency within the story about what's going on is that not indicative of people panicking P this feels like honestly i'm not i know i'm in is, the fucking no, no. lion's den but this feels like people against panicking reality. is a wildly different claim than the government told them to censor a tweet that's a totally okay, different so, so claim. are you gonna deny okay so are you gonna deny this story that fucking uh mark zuckerberg basically got a month's notice before fucking hunter biden's story was leaked and the fbi said hey some major misinformation is coming out and you need to act accordingly and he basically did so voluntarily I but it was the fbi to, I who told him to, to do it so i'll just say this whatever you're saying you're probably making it up because everything you've said about this so far has been made Literally up literally but um, i have I, i'll look into that later i haven't seen the zuckerberg stuff look at so okay look into that later here's, here's okay why don't you look into that now okay, we got we can, time yeah we can we'll i'm awake we'll you're awake well, sure we'll do it right after this okay so this tweet okay, was sweet. although several sources were called hearing about a quote-unquote general warning from federal law enforcement that summer about possible foreign hacks there's no evidence that i've seen of any government involvement in the laptop story in fact that might have been the problem dot 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 so there was Ooh, no, no evidence, evidence of any government intrusion relating to the Hunter Biden laptop story. And this is from the guy writing the tweets about the leaks. Okay, what do you want me to read about Zuckerberg? Tell me what I need to Google. Zuckerberg. It's exactly, it's exactly what Taibbi just said. That there was general guidance that fucking shit was coming out that might be misinfo. And oh, as a result, so you they lied. should fucking so you slow did it lie. down. So I was correct in saying that you lied. just Dude, made some shit listen, up. Okay, you, thank you. Okay. No, you've known gotcha. me. You've known, no, 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 no. This is actually part of what's pissing me off. Yes. Fucking, you're saying lie. Okay, I'm sorry, you like, didn't lie. I'm misrepresenting the information. Incorrect. Okay. My bad. Okay. Not lie, but completely okay. do, do incorrect. Do you want to... 
do you want to use words to figure out our conversation or do you want to be a cunt about it? Because it's actually starting to piss me off a little bit. I like, 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 actually, actually, let me nail this down real quick. Ooh, the getting of making it personal. Nail it down. So, yeah, so, so my reputation in this space mm -hmm. is being good faith as a motherfucker. It's saying what I think and what I believe based off of available information. It's also not known for being a fucking retard. I'm not Didn't nuanced, bro. I'm not a Lawrence Southern. Shut the fuck up. Let him finish. Let him finish. Let him finish. Shut the fuck up. I'm not fucking nuanced, bro. I'm not Lauren Southern. I'm not playing some fucking game. I'm not playing 10D fucking rhetoric or chess or fucking clout shit or whatever the fuck you're talking about. So if you want to talk to me about things that I sincerely believe and you want me to fucking extend you some level of charitability and fucking respect that I actually expect from you, then I want some of that shit from you. Don't treat me like some fucking like conservative fucking oppo 80 IQ fucking retard who doesn't know what he's saying. I know exactly what I'm saying. And I'm saying it based off of evidence that I've reviewed. So don't act, don't, as a matter of fact, if you say the word lie again, basically I'm going to call you a fucking asshole because I don't lie. I don't lie to you and I don't lie in general. So fucking drop that shit. Too fucking sweet. Okay. Yeah. Since when do That's you your perspective, home, please. Okay. So the issue that I have is that right mm -hmm. now our institutions are under attack more than they've ever been in the history of our fucking country. Okay. Except for maybe the fucking you civil like the war. Except for, Say except that. for. That's not what I'm saying. Let me finish. You just went on a whole fucking five minute soy rant. So let me do my five minute soy rant. Okay. So okay, historically, right, we're having huge problems with people trusting anything. Okay. One of the big claims that conservative propaganda bullshit dipshit people are making is that the government is literally going into the social medias and censoring conservatives. Censoring conservatives. You've parroted this line. You tried to defend it two days ago. That conservatives are stepping in and censoring particular stories. Or I'm sorry, that liberals are coming in and censoring particular stories. Um, that conservatives are being suppressed and oppressed across all social media. And now Elon Musk has bought fucking Twitter and he has pro he's done everything every fucking thing he has done is what he accused liberals of he got on in fucking day one he's tweeting absolute fucking lies about Pelosi having a gay lover breaking into his house absolute verifiable fucking lies as the 44 billion dollar owner of one of the most important social media institutions in the United States zero conservatives call him out on it you I don't maybe you did I hope you did but I would see zero conservatives call him out on that and he is engaged in misinformation after misinformation and then as part of him owning Twitter now he's leaking the Twitter files to finally show us that all of the government corruption and intrusion into social media that we all feared was there was actually there. But upon inspection, none of it is there. Absolutely none. fucking nothing. Okay, in so fact, none. So well, actually, let me, this story, let me finish my story. Sure. Not only is uh, none of it there, the leaks actually show that Twitter was acting better than I actually ever thought they were. They were having fierce internal discourse over how they should handle some incredibly complicated stories, and it seems like they did about the best they could. And I applaud them for that. And it seems like there was no government intrusion in a story where I honestly thought that a lot of government intrusion would have been attempted to happen. So props to them for that. But instead, that's not the headlines that are being propagated. Instead, the headlines that are coming out are historic Twitter leaks that are showing all the bad information, all the bad blah, 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 blah. So it's just a continual downplay, a continual misinformation that everybody seems to be partaking in, and I don't appreciate that. It's triggering the fuck out of me. And then when you come on and defend okay. it, you have no facts to back it up. I feel like I'm talking to Elon Musk where he's making shit up. Nothing is true, and I'm just supposed to pretend they're like, oh, it's just a conversation. That triggers the fuck out of me, okay? Sorry. Go okay, so don't, okay, so don't assign me any positions I don't have. I'll try to walk you through my logic, and you can see whether or not you at least see my logic, okay? So, so DHS... FBI, they might have like a domestic security interest in what goes on on Twitter, right? So if there's like terrorists or fucking people planning January 6th or crimes or bombings or any of that kind of shit, that might be of interest, right? Mm -hmm. Because basically people do coordinate on social media. So I think we're good there. So they probably have a, a series of legitimate reasons to be interacting with Twitter and Facebook and social media IQ or like uh, corporate fucking dickheads all the time, right? Mm -hmm. So they probably have these task forces, the, these liaisons who work in social media companies. So um, let, let's, let's go to the Hunter Biden story real quick. Do you think that's a story of, of public interest? Um, now I do, yes, but at the time, mm, I wasn't sure. Okay, so so during the election, do you think that the son of a president, uh, like uh, somebody seeking the office of the highest land in the state, you can say that Trump's a bigger piece of shit, but do you think that Hunter, being a piece of shit, potentially selling influence, selling off his fucking name, doing drugs and banging whores, do you think that's like something that people yeah, probably sure. should know yeah. about in a yes. regular election? Cycle? If it's true, okay. yes. Okay, so, well, I'm pretty sure we know it's true at this point, that's right? That's the... That's the we know whole it's problem. At this point, we do. But you have to admit that at the time, it looked fake as fuck. 
Do you admit that, or are you? Why? Okay, so so for instance, if I see a young man who looks like Hunter Biden hanging out with fucking prostitutes with drugs on the fucking table and all that kind of shit, and I can do digital forensics that show that it's not a Photoshop, why would I believe that that wasn't true? No, the question is the story about how it leaked. Does it sound likely that Hunter fucking Biden left his laptop at a random store and like Giuliani got his hands on it to like publish material? Does that sound like a real story to you? Like in I mean, retrospect, I've known some pretty shitty crackheads, but uh, in that retrospect, could be a personal thing. In retrospect, that is what happened. But at the time, that sounds like an uh -huh. exceptional story. Like holy fuck, I didn't believe it was real. That's not. That's an exceptional story. Right. Okay. So why? So if the so are you saying that the FBI and DHS DHS reps who said, "Hey, some misinfo is about to come out," they they thought it was bullshit? Uh, I don't know what I don't know if internal conversation on the FBI has leaked in terms of what they thought about it. Okay. So so basically, do you think that it's a little fucked up? to have the institutions basically intervene on behalf of one of the fucking presidents to say, hey, this is like, let, let's say, so for instance, if you wanna say you don't know, that's fine. For me, if they did know that it was legitimate and they asked for the story to be slowed down, that would be an abuse of their power. It would be, but there are two things. One, they didn't uh. do that because there was no government intrusion. And two, it was Trump's FBI. Okay, okay, can, read me the Matt Taibbi quote again. Connor, can I ask you how it's not equally partisan? Well, no, no, wait, 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 hold on, before we- It is, it is, it is partisan. Don't, don't veer off into a whole other topic, okay? Hold on. Matt Taibbi's quote was, although several sources recalled hearing about a general warning from federal law enforcement that summer about possible foreign hacks, there's no evidence that I've seen of any government involvement in the laptop story. Okay, so for me, although general involvement fucking blah, 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 that's exactly what you would do as a fucking government official if you wanted to have some level of plausible deniability. Oh hey, my God. this thing's coming up. You win. Why? Okay, you win. Tell me why that's crazy. You tell win. me why that's you win. crazy. You win. Because now you're going to tell me that it was all like a secret cover up and they lied and they were directly involved. I, I can't win that against that argument. You win. You got. You have the conspiracy no, argument. You no, win. no, I haven't. Yep. No, you I haven't you said won. any you of win. that. You got it. No, I haven't said any of that. Why, why are you assuming that I'm saying any of that? It's actually pissing me off that you're fucking assuming that I'm saying that shit. So, uh, you're so telling me right now that there was intrusion, but they did this to have like no liability. So I can't win. You're tell you're you're what you were saying directly contradicts the Twitter leaks, and 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 I'm just supposed to take your word for it because like oh how, well. How probably... is it? How is it directly? Okay, how is it directly fucking uh, contradictory to say that a general warning was issued a week or two before the fucking story leaked? Probably because they had it, they had see sources a week inside or the two? Trump. Let me finish. Let me finish the fucking story because of fucking Zuckerberg. Okay. I didn't Zuckerberg saying up that he Zuckerberg talked breaks. about the fucking before the Hunter story dropped. But was there a threat that the Hunter story's gonna drop, or was it just in general that there's like a lot of weird comms and shit going on on the Russian it side? It was and there might be general, and he assumed. Okay, so if it's general, is that even false? Do you think that that statement is false by if, our intelligence, or do you think that's a true knew, statement? Yes. If the okay, if the FBI liaisons and the fucking DHS liaisons knew that it was the Hunter story and they knew it was true, oh, yeah, absolutely. Okay. Hold on, I'm sorry. I have to do a ton of because I've got to put the, the conspiracy together. That I see you're saying. So dude, that's not even. That's saying, not even, dude. You're acting like I'm asking you to do algebra, no, no, and I'm asking alleging, you to do arithmetic. You are alleging a conspiracy. So let me tell you the conspiracy you're alleging. Okay, you're alleging that our intelligence knew about the Hunter Biden story, you knew, they knew in advance that it was gonna leak, and so they preemptively went to the social media's companies and said like, hey, you guys need to do something because there might be some misinformation coming, right? Knowing that the Hunter Biden story was coming through the pipeline and that, that it was actually real, but they wanted to censor it. But you have no evidence for any of that. But that's what you think. What I, kind, I can't what, counter your- What kind I of evidence would you- what, Okay, so why why would they have the correlated fucking timelines almost immediately? Why would the social media managers assume that that's what they were supposed to do? Well, first of all, there's- I don't, I don't know about Zuckerberg's assumption because I haven't seen that yet. But Twitter, there's no indication that they're assuming that like the FBI gave them that order. Okay, so okay, so then let's actually back up. So there's no evidence that the FBI gave them that order. So they just took it on under their own volition in order to help out the Biden campaign. That uh, basically they were gonna th through their own volition, Can voluntary, we, like, of course. So voluntarily they decided to slow down a fucking story. Let's assume the what reasonably could have happened. Let's say mm -hmm. that that story breaks 
and it goes viral on your social media platform, and, and Joe Biden loses the election by one or two points, and then it comes out that the story was actually completely fake. How do you feel now? I don't know. Is like liberalism and the free flow of information can and you, freedom of speech only to, like, like active when it's convenient? Pull, like, is that the only time that we give a shit about I'm it? I ask you to pull Trump's dick out of your fucking ear and think for one fucking second, because that was what they saw in front of them, that it was possible that an election, a major presidential election could be okay, massively it's influenced. It's embarrassing. You don't know shit about me. Okay, like I'm not then, a fucking MAGA then, supporter. I'm not a can't Trump you, supporter. I don't know how you can't fathom this unbelievably fucking obvious point. Then the worry that they had Do you was think that I don't understand the rational self-interest. Do you think that I'm that stupid? Because well, it's it actually kind be, of insulting. It seems to be because you seem to think that the only possible explanation for their activity is some secret FBI intrusion. When there's a really obvious no, story. I think that there's. I think there's perfectly reasonable, rational motivations okay. for everybody involved. Well. I see all of the evidence has been laid out, including the Twitter leaks, and they support every single part of my story 100%, and you have zero evidence for yours. So if you have nothing compelling to tell me, all you're doing is spinning conspiracy zero tales evidence. for me. You know, there's, you, know that, you know that I've conducted investigations before, right? You understand that I know the difference between like hard evidence and circumstantial evidence, right? You don't have You understand that evidence. I also understand that like you can basically postulate about things that are going on based off of correlated information, but just because I can't prove it in a court of law doesn't mean jack shit, right? You don't have can I, any evidence can I for anything thing? you're you're denying fucking reality and logic i'm not denying reality and logic you're giving me yeah. a just so story because it sounds good to you but by your own admission you have no evidence for any of it i have evidence i can give you a piece of evidence for every single claim i'm making you 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 are fucking you are acting like every single person in this story is a soulless robot without moral intuitions I'm or rational like self-interest in the people who like so for instance the dhs liaisons the mm -hmm. fbi liaisons the fucking people who work for the state the people who work for twitter all of their fucking ex or all of their behavior mm -hmm. within my theoretical fucking reality is all so easily okay. explainable it would be fucking mind-blowing if okay. they didn't follow the fucking path that I I've do, laid out. I want to do a little test here, okay? I'm going to write uh, out both of our stories, okay? And then you can tell me if you sure. agree with my characterization of mine and then your characterization of yours, okay? I'm sure. Okay? Ready? Okay. I'm listening. Um, okay. So this is Steven's version, okay? Here are a few Ooh. events that happened, okay? So... Do okay, and by and by the way, if you're gonna give me like a three minute fucking Stevens version, yeah. I'm I if you give me a shitty three minutes Connors version, I want three minutes, and I don't want to be interrupted during that three minutes. Oh, okay, I'm just gonna write up. It's very, there is a very quick. Okay, so in Stevens version, okay. okay, due to prior Russian intrusion in U.S. Uh, social media, the FBI plus D H. Well, I'll just say the FBI. The FBI warned social media companies of potential um, Russian propaganda. I'll just say that, okay? The sure. Hunter <clears throat> Biden story gets published by the New York Post on Twitter. Twitter reviews the story, initially feels like it has a lot of Russian propaganda flags, and ultimately air on censoring the story initially because it also seemed to conflict with their hacked materials policy because they were unable to authenticate the source of the story as being valid. And I think it's the next day or maybe week, Twitter revises their hacked materials policy and they allow the story to circulate. I think it was a week later. Okay, that's my version, okay? Your version is the FBI um, catches wind of the Hunter Biden laptop story, knowing it is true. They give warnings ahead of time to social media companies in the hopes that they censor it due to the political damage. Slow it down. It can cause Biden. Go ahead, sorry. No, I was just saying, instead of censor, say slow it down. Okay, that they slow it down, whatever that means, due to the political damage it can cause Biden, okay? The Hunter Biden story gets published by the New York, hold on, by the New York Post on Twitter. Twitter reviews the story 
and remembering the earlier FBI warnings, decide to slow the story down because they are worried that it will hurt Biden's uh, campaign uh, or Bi Biden's uh, electoral chances. Or their relationship with DHS and Homeland Security and the FBI. Or their relationship with DHS, Homeland Security, FBI. Okay? Mm -hmm. Okay. So for my story, I know that there was prior intrusion in U.S. social media. I can source that. I can say the Mueller and Diamonds. I know that the FBI is probably reaching out and talking to a lot of social media. I'm pretty sure they've talked about it in front of Congress. I, Zuckerberg's talked about it. We know this happened, right? Now, mm -hmm. I know that Twitter reviewed the story, and I see the internal discussion they had about whether it looked like Russian propaganda, that they weren't sure if it fit the hack materials policy, that people went back and forth on it. I know that. I have those conversations sourced. Um, I know that Twitter eventually reversed their decision and revised their policy, and that there was a lot of like terror between whether it went one way or another internally. I know all of that. I've seen the sources for all of that. Now, on the second part here, your part about how the FBI knew about the story far in advance and gave warnings to social media, I have no evidence of that at all. I can Okay, can we, can okay. we, can you take a leap of logic for me? Can we assume that Gianni and Trump are fucking retarded and because they're incompetent and people will be motivated to try to get them out of power within their own camp, that they probably had more fucking leaks than the goddamn Iraqi Navy. And they were probably talking shit about how they had this big nuke that was gonna sway it their way for weeks before they released it and people outside of the Trump camp would have been likely aware of that. Can you take that leap of logic? That's a me? lot of probably. Wait, so that Julian and Trump Shut were the stupid? the fuck up. That so is like They fucking, didn't leak it ahead of th that's time. That's like understanding got humanity. Okay, assume FBI found out. Okay, so my two assumptions are that Giuliani and Trump were stupid. So even though if they didn't leak it ahead of time, it got leaked. And okay, then... Okay, okay but, but just for the sake of the conversation, can you admit that Giuliani and Trump were stupid? Just so I can have one sure. concession from I'm you? Just say, Thanks. Yeah, I will concede that Trump is stupid and so giant. But wow. I don't okay, cool. Thanks. For my Appreciate story, it. I can source and cite Ugh. every part of it. On your story, I'm already off the ground with two pretty big assumptions. Okay, but that's fine. Um, Hunter Biden's story gets published Logical on the New York Post on true. Twitter. Um, Twitter reviews the story, remembers the earlier FBI warnings, and decide to slow it down for political reasons because they're worried it'll hurt Biden's electoral chances or their relationship with the FBI, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. I, so what are my assumptions here? That assume... Most that of, Twitter is self-interested and wants to comply with government officials they have a close relationship with. And on top of that, it could hurt the person that they're most sympathetic to. Which, by the way, this is also like baby steps emotional logic. But, like, I, I feel like y'all are acting like I'm fucking crazy and I'm literally like explaining rational human behavior based off of motivations that are self-evident. Uh, I can explain I'm the problem. Well, I mean, like, keep in mind that you're it. talking about Trump's intelligence departments too, right? Because Donald Trump is the president, no. so this is... No, the, these people fucking hate him. Okay, the FBI so... FBI took possession of a copy of the, the laptop and the hard drive mm -hmm. in December 2019. Okay. So they would have had time to fucking know that whether or not it was true. Maybe. Do we know well, if they knew that it was true or not? I don't know if that's the case or not. If they well, took possession of it fucking a year before it fucking... Oh, wait, no. Was it a month? Month or two? No, it was It was December 2019. The laptop story didn't break by Giuliani until October 2020. So it was about 10 months afterwards. Oh, so yeah. So you're telling me that in a year's time, they can't do fucking digital forensic to verify whether or not the story is true? The thing is... We you're also telling me that it wouldn't take a year to leak? Well, if that's the case, that, that why Trump didn't they, planned on using it as a nuke? Why didn't they explicitly then tell if they knew about this internet? Why didn't they explicitly tell Facebook and Twitter to censor this story? Because who wants to backstab your fucking boss? What? If Trump won, they would have been fucked if they found out that explicit members of the DHS and FBI had gone to social media companies in order to do something wait, that would you have just them. sixty seconds earlier said that they all hated Trump. Now they want to be loyal to him? 
Can, as a matter of fact, uh, I, okay. I'm just going to sit gonna... here. I'm going to sit here and see if you can figure uh, that out for yourself for a second. I, like, can you figure out in like, an election they... why you might not know who your boss is in a couple of months? Yeah, but and like... you might not want to take a massive shit on your asshole boss's desk. Can you rationalize that for me? Or not like, are also, you playing Not dumb? while you're simultaneously saying that they're trying to like sway the whole election by pressuring social media to censor a story. No, you can't. Those Both of those positions can't be true at the same time. Dude, th this is, I, I can't tell if you're autistic. Like, like, like I get like you're a little autistic. It, if I, I wasn't playing like Factorio, I might like try to like maybe walk both of us through this, but like something is, yeah, one of us is severely missing the mark on this. I don't know how to. Okay, okay. So if it, I can explain it. So the people who are a part of many of the institutions think Trump is an incompetent buffoon, okay? Many people knew as much. They interacted with him. They thought the dude was a fucking idiot, right? So as a result, they would prefer Biden. Because Biden, despite being a fucking Democrat, probably understands the levers of power to the point that Obama did, where, yeah, sure, he'll talk shit about the military or the industrial complex or the fucking, you know, the intelligence agencies or whatever, but they'll largely pay, play ball. So Biden is preferable to Trump, to almost everybody in the deep state, which is, uh, you know, I know a term that you fucking makes you cringe, but I don't give a fuck. So Biden winning would be better. But also, you don't know how the election is going to go. So there's a possibility that Trump could win. So if you have internal memos that show your name in your email showing that you're trying to fuck your boss, you are not only going to get blacklisted, you're probably going to be fucking shit canned. You're but probably going to you be get, leaked on dogs they've already done. But they've so are, why would you play already... the game? Because they because they're already doing it. You're saying them by them going out and warning the social media companies, they're already doing exactly that. Yeah. Do you have any names? Do I, I have any names? I mean, I'm pretty sure that if Trump wanted to, we could probably get them. If he's literally the president of the United States, he could probably find out who in the FBI is communicating with Twitter. That would be my Dude, guess. Is Trump, actually, Trump you know what? My guess is these names are probably all public somewhere. Brain. Okay. So so okay so. All right, dude, again, like, I, I feel like this is fucking baby steps logic. I, I, yeah, I mean, like, I, it's not. It's, like, it's, like, this is all, like, super bog standard, like, conspiracy theory logic. Like, you're super, oh, yeah. Sp yes. Spy, it, spies and intel analysts can't leak information intelligently in such a way that it favors their needs, but doesn't fuck them over. This is, like, That's, 10 like, a levels sentence of conjecture. that you are yeah, fucking we're, we're, saying we're back at, like, to me. Yeah, we're at, like, Mr. Girl levels of, like, meta conversation right now. It's in order no, to build out we're your... No, we're not. By the way... Like our perspective is like 85% in alignment and in 15% of it, you're pleading ignorance and I'm assuming some level of intentional and rational action. You're acting like we're fucking galaxies apart and we agree on like 85% of the facts. I think it, we it's, are. it's actually okay kind of crazy you that you're disagree. acting like I'm fucking crazy. But is it okay if you guys disagree here? Even though you feel okay. like you agree with I'm him being so speculative. much, it does seem like he you're doesn't want to speculate. No, yeah, that's the problem: is that your story is built out of analytic leaps, and Stephen's entire story is built out of evidence. There's a source for every single claim he's making, and your your evidence is all in Connor's mind. You're building an entire story. You're doing what's called in reporting: you're outsmarting the evidence. You're trying to like mastermind um, a, a narrative for which there isn't evidence to support. Yep. Okay, Connor, you're using I, a bunch of like inductive logic, and Steven's trying to use like deductive logic only when it comes to this. And what you described as like baby steps, you're making huge leaps to assume malicious maliciousness okay. from the person. Ma you guys are assuming maliciousness this would all be perfectly like explainable through their own fucking allegiances. Like I, all right, it so could be, but you, you have to prove have to that. Mm -hmm. I would have to prove that. Is this a court just, of law no, no, or is this a Twitch panel? A single point of proof for a single claim. Any of your claims. You have no oh, proof for You mean anything. like the ones where f***ing Zuckerberg said the FBI gave me a f***ing heads up months before that there was going to be a major f***ing disinfo leak and that correlated heavily with the Hunter Biden story? How about the other f***ing info that somebody hold brought on, up in on, this conversation on. that the FBI had the f***ing laptop for the better part of a year and would have had the ability to verify the veracity of the claims? That way, if Twitter reached out to their FBI or DHS representatives they could have said hey is this true and they would have said yes because they had opportunity to uh you know analyze the evidence you mean that kind of fucking evidence not nothing that you just said is evidence for anything of what you said i don't Dude, know you're yeah. you're acting like i'm a fucking 19 year old who hasn't has zero professional experience whereas i've actually worked in the defense industry and the security industry i've worked investigations and on top of that i understand intel because my friends are okay. fucking in intel so i also understand so how have i and if you made a report on this it wouldn't go out 
Connor, of can I just point out go one out. thing? Without, without it matching have good bitch energy, please yeah, no just shit. point I out one thing. Sigan. Hold, hold on one second. I gotta address Supreme real quick. Uh -oh. So, Supreme, you worked as a f***ing translator. Do you think I have signals intelligence in my f***ing backyard? Do you think I have 60 hours a f***ing week to search open source? You don't have humans, do you, you don't have Sigan, you don't have any kind of intelligence. No it's all shit! Just, so it's I'm going off of what's available. You're just, you're drawing a narrative yourself and telling us it's true, despite the fact that it's not supported by any evidence. Any, okay, you guys keep saying any, and it's actually pissing me off. No, 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 like, evidence, evidence is something concrete that you can point to, not logic. Logic is not evidence. Connor, can I, I feel please like I point something good. out to you without yes, having please, to match this energy? Because yes. I feel like you are getting really offended that people aren't believing you, and you feel like it's like, uh, a dig at your character, at uh, your investigation skills, but you really did come in here with um, with a point to make about an, about the Twitter algorithm that you dragged your guy in to defend, and he came in here to have to correct you and to say that he offered to go more in depth to you so you could ex so you can understand it better, and you didn't feel the need to really like learn more about it from him before you came here and made an argument based off of it. Okay, so okay, it so, seem so like no, Sherry, Sherry, like good judgments. Sherry, okay, Sherry, what was my perspective and what was his perspective and what was the difference between the two and if anybody else talks about something? Yeah. He is the one who used those words, that he offered to explain it to you more in depth and that you didn't He talked about this for it. two no. hours. And on top of that, I don't understand what he said in the past two minutes. That's different than what I said, except for maybe I used you words that he's uncomfortable with. So That's Sherry, is, you, you listened. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. <laughs> you listened to me talk. You listened to Tay's talk. Could you explain my perspective and his perspective and what's difference between the two perspectives? I didn't write both of your things down. I'll rewatch oh, so it and I'll write it listen. down and I'll so, send so it to you. I listened to the part of, where he said me, that he had okay, to correct so what you said about him and that he offered to explain it to you in depth and you didn't. Instead of accusing me, I'm going to pull a fanatic. I'm going to pull a fanatic. I'm going to pull a fanatic. Go ahead. I'm instead not saying anything me, incorrect, but you're, like, okay, the fact that okay. I don't have the memory to recall both of your statements is what you're going to rely on. And whatever, okay. that's just fucking So I'll, I'll re Don't worry. I'll resummarize my position and then Taze can correct my position a second time. Okay. My position was that based off of the conversation that I had with Taze, he believed that the fucking algorithms were not intelligent enough or designed specifically. Maybe that was his contention. They weren't designed specifically to identify claim. political factions. Claim. Hold yes. on. Hold on. Yep. Shut the fuck up. I was up. just saying, I was just saying that one they sounds shut, I, don't, I don't need your help. Thank you. <laughs> so fucking the that they weren't designed to identify political affiliation and then throttle or accelerate stories based off of political affiliation. That's what I believed he said. So, Taze, could you explain to me where I'm not understanding you? Well, that's pretty much it. It's just about what they were designed to do and what would be the expectation of those algorithms to, like, what they'd be designed for, given the context of, like, they're a massive social media company, they're competing with other social media companies. Like, it, it's going to be designed to do a very specific thing. And if they wanted to tack something else on, it would be, like, their ad algorithm, which I know we discussed, like being a separate algorithm that would operate within it. It's just, yeah, it's um. Okay, and and if and if I could if I could identify where I went wrong it is I said that like the algorithm so couldn't do these things. No, 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 no. Okay, so where I went wrong is I said the algorithm couldn't do these things, which is not what Taze said. He said that they weren't designed to do these things. That's what he took issue with. Am I correct, Taze? Yes. Yes, but I also would not necessarily follow you into the depths of <laughs> all of this. I don't give a f And by the way, my offense is not whether or not people believe me. I don't give a flying f whether or not anybody in this yeah, room believes really me, including Destiny. About how you investigate yeah, so, and stuff like so, that. No, no, no. Have the dude come in and say that he offered to explain this to you more in depth, yeah. but you didn't take him up on it. What kind of investigation Wait. is that? Like We talked for like three hours yesterday. You're 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 going for a fucking dunk and it's the most retarded dunk. I'm not going on a dunk. On. I'm trying to show oh, you, you that it doesn't seem friend? like you're making like... You don't listen to your friend? You're disconnected hey, from reality, I'm... even though I'm Hold literally on. able to repeat everything he just fucking said. I'm trying to show to you how you have conspiracy brain right now you're not letting me do it in a kind way okay well, the, well the, 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 just to be clear excuse I don't me if i don't feel like getting patted on the head by you right now 
I, I don't have the tech knowledge to be able to like go like super in depth on these things. I'm not saying that I have some like expertise in this where I could. I didn't offer it to him. I said like I could try to get more in depth, but I didn't think it was necessary because I was able to like articulate just hey, here's the main concern why none of this like sort of concept of just slowing down content based on like a specific topic seems to not be true based on what these things are designed for. That's all. Okay. And Honor. by the way, no, hold on before you go. I'm going to explain why I'm upset. I'm not upset because people don't agree with my opinion. Opinions are fucking assholes. Everybody has one. They smell like shit. That is why okay? you're upset. I don't give... No, that's not what I'm upset. The reason why I'm upset is because Destiny, who I don't expect to be as parasocially invested in me as I am invested in him, but we've been on panels together, but he's reviewed some of my debates, but he knows me through mutual friends. He's painted me as a fucking MAGA dick-sucking lunatic who is just making shit up. Even though 85% oh of our your perspective... Career? Shut the fuck up. 85%, 85%, 85%, 85% of what we believe about the world is the same. And I'm making inferences that seem fucking small to me personally. But for the sake of content, he's pretending that I don't know what the fuck I'm talking about. Yeah, but so Connor, you really wait, 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 real quick, real quick, just because the claim was made about my, okay. I don't believe that you're a horrible person. I just think there are certain topics that rot the mind, and Hunter Biden's cock is one of them. For a lot of conservatives, it's like vaccines, but there are certain topics that just rot the mind, and I think that these are one of those topics, so, but go ahead. I, I would say I have like an 80% more chill perspective than the rest of conservatism combined. I'd like That's... to test that for a second, uh -oh. Connor. <laughs> okay, sure. so, so this is this is ruminating. I'm sorry, I was off um, looking at uh, Jedi Survivor, new game coming out. It looks really cool. But I had two Ooh, questions. It's okay, I was playing Dark Tide. If you and you may have answered these already, but you mentioned something like either 15 minutes or two hours ago about the FBI, and you said, my understanding is, you said that the FBI was motivated to not potentially tank their possible future boss's political career by coming out uh, or by allowing the Hunter Biden story to develop naturally. Is that correct? Because I've got a question. No, if, okay, so if I misspoke, so what, what I'm trying to say is the FBI DHS liaisons, the people who had this conversation about the misinformation, they would want to slow down the Hunter Biden story potentially in order to help Biden during a sensitive time during the election. Even buying them a couple of weeks at this point, I think, was important. And then even having the the contention about whether or not this story was hacked or ill-gotten or anything like that, that already colors the story in a different way that helps the Biden campaign. But so, it hold on just real quick. Sorry. Uh, with Trump, if Trump won and found out these specific names that they had ordered social media companies in order to kill the story, slow it down, whatever the fuck, then those people would have been fucked. But at this point, because of the way they did it, they would have plausible deniability where they could say, oh, well, it wasn't that. We just had random chatter on the net about Russian disinformation. Uh, the Hunter Biden thing was just a time coincidence. I got you. I What I understood you to say earlier is that the FBI was basically hedging between Trump and Biden and trying to act in the least noncommittal way in case Biden won. And that no, struck me. They, they wanted Biden to win, but they also didn't want to individually fuck themselves if Trump won. Okay. Can I ask you okay. why you think the FBI wanted Biden to win? Yeah. Actually, can you, you worked in the intel community. Can you tell me why plenty of people in the DOD and fucking intel community wouldn't want Trump as a commander in chief? Just answer uh, the question straight. No. I no, the sure, fucking Chad. supreme supreme mm -hmm. comes from the same community that I come yeah, from. Yeah, so I came, from, about, I came so... from the community where uh, where information was found about Russian interference in the 2016 election, and it was leaked by Reality Winner. They put her in fucking prison. What what does that have to do with things? Uh, okay, I worked for I worked for institutions that demonstrated, dude. I I will never ever forget the very first day Trump became president. They hooked they and hung up the pictures they hung up the pictures the next day and it was business as usual like we were subject to the hatch act right like you were subject to the hatch act when you were working um intel or you say that you did some intel or something like that okay so i did investigations in law enforcement i did fucking logistics in the marine corps and i have fucking intel are, are you friends. familiar with the hatch act 
no police familiar. We're not we're not allowed to discuss politics and shit at work. We're not we're not really allowed to talk about that. We're not allowed to make any endorsement. Nobody in any sort of leader leadership position. You're not even supposed to talk about this stuff openly. The Hatch Act is an act that um, that governs uh, certain members of the executive branch and um, and I think maybe the maybe the judici- the legislative branch as well. I can't remember. Um, but but like where you're not allowed to make who, any endorsements who? of a given party or something Wait, like that. An extension. You were a detective. So, I thought you so were just who? a cop for three years. I was a patrolman for three years. I worked in the schools, but I also conducted investigations as a patrolman. You still do investigations. In, like, middle school? Okay, aside, aside from that, about? I'm going to answer your question. Do you, do you know what patrol Stop, stop. Is? I'm going to answer your question even more because this is more, this is more interesting and it's also, like, more critical uh-huh. to the conversation. I worked in an institution that was comprised of, like, hundreds and hundreds of different offices, all, like, headed by different people that had different political predilections and had different backgrounds and stuff like that. There was one point where I was working in an office where like the dude behind me was reading Breitbart every day and the dude to the left of me was like an Ivy League, uh, like whatever, intellectual Democrat guy and the guy to the right of me like didn't give a fuck about any of it. He was like an army dude or whatever. Like it was a huge mix and match of things. If you think like that there was some institutional wave of political predilection or something like that uh, and that there was some sort of internal coordination, I imagine this would have to come from like a higher level or top down. And like if that's true, do you have anything to support this other than Connor just thinks so? No, Connor just thinks so. Okay. But at the same time, hold on, hold on. Because I need to I need you to follow me on a fucking logical leap. You're talking about fucking Uh-oh. grunts. Like so you're you're talking about fucking people who are right. on the bottom level who are grunts? more interested. Wait, why do you think grunts? I'm talking about grunts? Grunts. Why do you think I'm talking about grunts? Were your people fucking high level? Did they make policy decisions? I, Were they I, rubbing I interface... elbows in the beltway? Dude, I inter yeah, I interface with leadership of like entire office like entire branches. Yeah, departments. Okay, so shit. you're you're saying you're saying that if somebody walks into a fucking meeting and th- this is this is where like I at some point I just have to assume that people are fucking pretending to be stupid. So you're saying that like if somebody walks into a meeting with Joseph Biden or Barack Obama or even Ron DeSantis and they have an hour long meeting with that person and then they have a meeting with Trump uh, for four hours because the dude and likes to rant and they can't get through the f-ing briefings because the dude's a f-ing toddler they're gonna have no opinion about who should be running the fucking so, country and they would take no actions in order to mm-hmm. fucking make sure that the right person ended up at the wheel let me let me understand see if i understand this correctly you think because if like a pdb runs long under trump that the person like delivering the pdb is going to be so annoyed that they're going to try to orchestrate internally like a surreptitious campaign to puppet social media companies to to like maybe on an off chance suppress a story that might fit perfectly in line with a very general warning. Dude, I I I, Probably. I just I can't believe that is what like, you're like, claiming. I'm, I'm, like that is I'm the seriously claiming. wondering. Okay, but I'm just seriously wondering if like I'm the only person who's been paying attention. General mm-hmm. Mattis pretended he was like, "Hey, don't worry, all the decisions are being made by fucking uh, adults in the room." Right. And he did that for a few years. He resigned after two years because he basically said that Trump was a f-ing retard and a threat to the republic. Yeah, he resigned. He didn't coordinate a, a coup from the inside. He didn't coordinate a, like a sabotage campaign against the Trump. What, what do you think your f-ing sec def going in f-ing public in order to tell uh, tell the world that you're a f-ing retard? What do you think that normally does? For what about what about what about when Comey did it to Hillary Clinton four years earlier? Based. Yeah, just kill me. Just kill me. <laughs> just absolutely just fucking kill me. Okay. I don't know. All right. well, aside from that, aside okay, from that. Hold on. What the fuck does one person fucking snitching about another political person? How does that bear any logical inconsistency based off of what I'm saying? Well, I, because uh, you're, the, the, the point that Wicked Supreme is trying to get across to you is that what you are, mm. alle- I don't think you understand how phenomenal what you're alleging is. Uh, like a coordination between a whole group of different people with different political beliefs that aren't even allowed to discuss them at work, that all of these people would come together to not just like, fucking, we're going to like put a, like a diuretic or whatever in Trump's coffee or some shit, but that we're going to come together. We're going to reach out external of our department. We're going to go above our heads of bosses, or maybe this is all coming from a head, I guess, and then nobody's reporting it despite all the political differences, and that we're going to coordinate to try to sabotage Trump's campaign in a highly sophisticated manner. You are alleging a conspiracy. Sophisticated? All they did was say, 
hey, this could be bullshit. Don't no, 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 stop, stop, stop. stop. You, stop. You, you're doing this thing where they're, where they're simultaneously sophisticated actors that are smart enough not to give their name, that are smart enough to drop hints that won't incriminate any of them, that are intelligent enough to know what stories are coming. They figure this out, and you're, you're saying they're really, and then you're saying, oh no, they're just dumb, they're just saying a thing, ha ah. Like, you, your actors can't be simultaneously, like, a, a, a basically attempting almost like a quasi-coup from the inside, but also like these dumb, maligned actors that are just stupid and mad at the same time. They can't be both. Quasi, yeah, like okay. if I can give an analogy, it's basically like oh, if listen. there's a food fight that breaks out, like every student mm -hmm. and cafeteria aide and teacher, like they're going to know who did it. Like everyone's not going to all of a sudden be blind and not know what happened. Okay, yeah, and anybody who's had a fucking boss, if you can hide your fucking the shit that you're doing behind a legitimate work-related okay, reason, it, but you you're can just escape assuming, by. You're just assuming that either a majority or people that are like in leadership or something like that didn't like Trump as a boss and, and were determined to oust him from office surreptitiously and illegally or something like that. Who said illegally? They're what you're saying would be Fine. illegal. In secret. Mm -hmm. Well. They're doing their jobs. They're preventing misinformation that they had for okay. the better part of a year. I just want to address, uh, I wanna address you know, this. Uh, from getting out this is This is like a really important uh, misunderstanding of, of one of the claims that you're making about the warning that they were putting about of general misinformation. Like, we know post-mortem from 2016 that there was a bunch of foreign, uh, that there was like a bunch of foreign misinformation and foreign uh, attempts to, you know, like interfere with our election and stuff like that. And, and the... Private, private industries, so like social media companies, would have been very interested in knowing when that's the case because of the blowback that Facebook got because of the Cambridge, the Cambridge Analytica, Analytica story. Analytica. Was okay, huge. So, so, so hold, hold on, on so stop, hold on. stop. Yep. So you're saying mm -hmm. that DHS and FBI are making uh, general warnings and you're asking us to make the inference that they are knowingly making a warning thinking that they know that the Hunter Biden story is going to come out and it's going to be disregarded. The problem is the evidence that we have that came from the Twitter files, they never mentioned the government at all. They, in fact, they specifically say um, we need to we need to learn from the lessons of 2016. So this was Twitter internal staff literally referring back to uh, the Cambridge Analytica blowback, and they're just simply looking at that with tunnel vision. They're saying nothing about DHS. D did you read the Twitter files yet? At this point? Yes, I've read. Okay, so they're they're specifically they're specifically okay. So in their mm -hmm. internal conversations, they're never mentioning anything about the FBI said this or that or DHS said this or that. They themselves are referring to the thing that would be the reason that they would be concerned about. This. It was hotly debated, right? And and it culminated in them changing their policy. They literally grew out of this, right? There was there was internal debate about whether it should be published. Uh, a story that was suppressed because it already fell neatly within their own terms of service about a uh, you know a, a public or sorry a private citizen. They fucking debated about it, and then they ultimately changed their TOS to better serve Republicans in this case or conservatives to publish this information were it to come out again in the future because it's in the public interest. Okay. And but there's evidence I, I for all this. I can I don't point understand, to a source. I don't understand for what you're this. saying. Fucking takes away from what I'm saying. But anyway, because there's the, no evidence me, whatsoever. There's ask, no evidence whatsoever that FBI and uh, DHS are doing this with any intent to suppress okay. specifically the Hunter Biden story. And there's tons of evidence saying the opposite. Tons of evidence saying yes. the opposite. You're presenting me neutral evidence at best. By what? The way. What? Okay, you're saying that the FBI said, yeah, do whatever the fuck you want, Twitter. They sent emails to the fucking people where, like, Twitter and fucking Facebook were like, hey, bro, we just want to check in, see if this story's bullshit or not. And the, the FBI and DHS was like, oh, yeah, we, we not only don't have any problems with it, we want you to publish it. We love you to publish it. That fucking happened because that would be a positive push from the government to publish the fucking story, which is what you just asserted, rather than a neutral story, which is fucking death. Okay, Ro, Ro Khanna, the oh, fucking hold on, hold on. No, Democrat literally a, said that, no, that it should be published. It's a First Amendment issue. So that that would be the only government involvement that we saw from the Democrat side was somebody saying. Yeah, hey, did you read her email? Uh, I can I can read it again right now. I did read it. I can brush up on yeah, it again. Yeah, okay. So I'll I'll details. summarize it for you. Her email was, "Hey, this fucks us. This fucks the Democrats." But I think that it's a really bad look for you guys to be slowing down a story that's in the public interest. As a result, toot fucking sweet, I would like you to publish this story and eliminate any fucking suppression that you're doing of the story. Based. That was her exact fucking email. That's, that's that goes, based. But that goes exactly against your whole letter. So then the only time anybody... Do you think that I think that a congressman from fucking Iowa like, talks to DHS reps? Oh How retarded God. do you think I am at this point? So you're, okay. Uh, okay. No, I, I'm serious because you keep like assigning me shit that's like fucking, that would be like 70 IQ fucking an, an anal analytic shit. Well, just show it's us, just show, show us some evidence. Show us a source that supports any of the claims you're making. Do you, 
again, going back to you. You're saying this you don't is need where one. I can't I'm feel asking fucking, for one. What's that? You're saying that you don't need one. Yeah, I don't. I'm making inferences. This is you're my alleging conspiracy at the highest levels, or at some levels, or at a general level within like uh, within like major institutions of the federal government, and you're telling okay, us you fine, don't need fine. any evidence. Wait, and also, yeah, wait, all right. So I'll tell you. Hold on, hold on. Shut the f up. I'll give you evidence. Okay. Fucking basically an unrelated story, completely fucking different, but proves that the DOD thought that Trump was inept and needed to be hidden from in order for the military to function during the fucking Syria pullout. The military was told, just pull out, okay? Just pull out. Take your troops out of Syria. Take your troops out of fucking Iraq. Don't fucking worry about it. Wherever the fucking chips fall, they fall. The military fucking lied to Trump about the Trump about the troop levels by sending their troops on temporarily assigned duty to Kuwait, to Syria, back to Iraq, and back to fucking Kuwait. And the way that they fucking did that is by cooking the books because the TAD troops don't have to be reported the same as deployed troops. So as a result, they deployed more troops to Syria while Trump was telling them to get the fuck out. So the institutions were conspiring to lie to Trump about fucking troop levels because he's an incompetent fucking idiot. I don't know anything about the story, but I got to be honest, I can't trust you at face value that you're like all these details you're telling me about just based on your analysis and, and the claims that you've oh, made. Okay, about okay, this. okay. Also, so wait, wait, I, can I, can I brought up something that's factually true I, that I have firsthand knowledge of that I know people who were involved you, in the fucking You said conspiracy. that about this though, too. About the. Wow. And then also, all can right. we just be clear? All right, all right, all right, all right. If this, if this FBI no, story is true, wait, wait, if this no. FBI story is true, uh -huh. it would be one of probably the top three maybe top two like biggest like u.s conspiracies of all time like it would be up there with like uh if jfk is this assassinated is you wait wait pussy shit what you think, you think hiding troop levels in a no 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 serious the, business no, 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 no. the twitter uh, intrusion story this would be one of the biggest stories of this would be one of the biggest u.s scandals in u.s history an intelligence department if, gone rogue if, if, coordinating FBI, with them. if fbi or dhs if fbi or dhs knew that the Hunter Biden story was going to come out. And they said, hey, social media companies, just to let you know, some disinfo is coming out. Um, you know, please slow it down if you want to. And then the social media companies, through their own volition, uh, decide to slow it down when it comes out. And they say, hey, FBI, DHS, what are you talking about? And they go, uh, maybe. That That's the biggest conspiracy theory of the past fucking 400 years. If the intelligence companies found some piece of information, they realized it was true, and they clandestinely made requests to social media to censor that story to prefer an incoming presidential candidate. That's not even what I said. You're, I don't it's know what you're saying. Never mind. That is exactly what you said. No, you uh, literally is, no, no. did not repeat that is, back exactly that is, what the That is said. exactly what you are claiming. And that, clandestinely and it, requested? I never said that shit. You you're literally said making shit that up. they made requests in a secrety kind of way to where it wouldn't be traced back to a particular person and they were kind of half aligned with it. That is a clandestine request. What are you talking about? Hey, hey, Steve, the sky is going to be blue tomorrow. Uh, you might, or, or there's going to be traffic on the fucking road tomorrow. You might want to watch the way that you drive tomorrow. Is that is that clandestine? Am I being secretive, no, or am well, I giving it, you it generally would, good no, advice no, 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 that no, no, might no. be convenient for your fucking timeline? It would be secretive if you knew that there was a particular event that was going on, but you didn't want me to trace. But what, what are you saying? Okay, never mind. Your brain is it's a this is like a COVID topic. It just there's no functioning. No, it, it's not even fucking close. And by the way, this is still ninety five percent way more fucking chill than what conservatives are reading into this. I don't situation. care. No, it's not. You're coming from the exact same epistemic yes, conspiratorial it background. It's the exact same background. It's a, no, it's, it's, it's bullshit. A, I agree. Mm -hmm. It is bullshit. 100%. No, totally no, 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 no. It, it, it's, it's bullshit that I'm saying one plus, like, like, there's like a one plus X equals two. And you guys are like, well, I don't know. X could be anything. I don't, I don't get it. What are you talking about? It's fucking crazy to me. Um, all right. Anyways, so the, the fucking point being that if I believed that the military was capable of hiding troop levels from Trump because they thought it was incompetent, do I believe that a couple of middle managers in the FBI might have wanted to help Biden out a little bit? The answer is yes. And I don't feel like it's a huge fucking jump in logic. So, okay, so did, does though. anybody have any pushback on the fucking military troop levels hiding? Do you Wait, have any the holes in that no story that you want to poke? None of oh, us and by the way, you. there's one more fucking thing that I have to say before I leave, but I'll let you Do respond. It. I don't think any of us believe, I don't believe that story happens the way you said it is. I would, I would have to go okay, read it. Then, then you're fucking wrong. Like, about reality. It's okay, Connor. I believe you. Shut the Thank fuck you, Mind Waves. <laughs>
So, Connor, just to, just to yeah. recap, is it possible that the FBI, aware of all the Russian disinformation, misinformation, and hacking that went on in 2016, to interfere in Trump's beh in favor, get a copy of this laptop, knowing that Russia will probably try to interfere again in Trump's favor in 2020, and not mm -hmm. being able to verify the authenticity of the information or how it was obtained, just send a general warning to social media companies that, hey, what happened in 2016 may be happening again in 2020. Did you, did you, but, were you not the person who said that they had the laptop for 10 months? They did have the laptop for 10 months. We, we, so we why wouldn't you verify the contents of the laptop in 10 months time, particularly well, if you just, knew that it had sensitive information on it? Well, it wasn't just about the contents, like the, the validity of the contents of the laptop, but also how the laptop you know, fell into the hands of that that uh, laptop repair guy and the Trump campaign. The blind laptop it, repair guy. <laughs> is it not possible that just genuinely in good faith, set aside whatever personal biases the agents and executives have, mm -hmm. that after 2016, if they didn't have the contents verified and, and being able to trace the information, being able to disconnect it from a possible Russian interference attempt, that they just did why, this in good faith, just to be why cautious. Would, okay, so why, then answer me this question. Why would you have the, con so let, let's say we know Hunter Biden's smoking crack. We know that he's soliciting fucking other people for influence, whether or not Biden or the Biden family actually gets a cut is a fucking different story. He's probably just using his name in order to leverage his own bullshit. Um, you know, he's banging whores, he's taking pictures, he's fucking lying to people, blah, blah, blah. He's consorting yes. with like Chinese billionaires. He's consorting with Ukrainian billionaires. He's basically doing whatever the fuck he wants as a fucking rich daddy's boy, right? Okay. So you have that laptop. This is all like confirmed information. So if you call me a conspiracy nut, I'm literally going to fucking just disconnect because this is I haven't called you that once. But not, not you. Fucking okay. these other fucking <laughs> algorithmically... Yeah, these fucking algebraically challenged dickheads. You have a conspiracy so, theory, to be clear. Okay, so guess what? Conspiracies happen, dickhead. Yeah, been... that's that's true. Yeah, but they require evidence to be validated. Wrong, loser. Sure, this is a Twitch panel. This is my opinion. Oh my god. You're talking to Shh. thousands of people. Well, fuck them and fuck their fucking fucking asses. How about that shit? You're also credentialing yourself and so, like saying I'm. Yeah, I, I've examined this stuff firsthand. I have industry experience. Hey, he's a hall monitor, okay? He does Chill. have credentials. Chat got owned in this debate. Okay. Anyways. So, the point being that, like, why would... Okay, so th this was my point, and maybe somebody else can answer it besides Ruminate. So, you have the laptop. You know that it has sensitive information. You know how it has information of the fucking... of that shit. And you have 10 months in order to verify its contents. Why wasn't Twitter, Facebook, and the social media companies able to simply pick up the phone and say, hey, DHS, FBI, is this story true? And if it is true, should we go ahead and allow it to algorithmically go? And then the DHS and the FBI says, actually, yeah, we've had this laptop for 10 months. We know that all the contents are uh, fucking okay. valid and true. And two, as a result, go would, ahead they even be a, would they even be allowed to make true. that request if it was like an ongoing investigation? Exactly. Would the FBI even be allowed to comment? ongoing investigation into what into hunter into into the, uh, that laptop where it came from like who was trying to release the information about it would they be able to make requests like that even if it was a finished investigation i don't know if they'd be do, allowed do to you think it takes that. 10 months to do fucking digital forensics and find out who fucking drops off the laptop i cannot believe especially you, with something on. of that political I, politically okay. sensitive i'm gonna now i am gonna make an insult okay you do not have a background in anything related to digital forensics if you would ask a question that fucking stupid Yes, there's a reason why sometimes it takes the FBI years to trace devices and investigations, depending on what the origination of is any that of the because of the sophistication from. of the devices involved, or because of the backlog of evidence? It could literally be because the laptop has a password answer that on question. it. And the I want a direct answer to that fucking question. You don't know the answer, and I don't either. The what if it could is been, backlog? It could, it could have been. Get it could have been. It could have been out of here. It's it could have backlog. It, it, it literally could have been an encrypted yeah, drive. They didn't have the password to. You no, have no, 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 no. Hold on, hold on. No, no, no. This is bullshit. Oh my god. To answer this question. Finding out whether or not digital fucking files are authentic and whether or not the fucking laptop contains the data set that it does that it says that it does and that it hasn't been hacked. 
You're saying that would take years? I don't know if the drive is encrypted or not. I don't it know doesn't this, matter. I don't know the condition matter. of the machine. Even if it is, even if it is a You're either lying or no, you're stuck matter. in your Connor, own it doesn't matter. Connor, it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. Connor, if you think you have a piece of information that grants you access to like levels of corruption at the highest levels of government, like you're going to hold on to that shit until you can fucking cast the whole net and, ca and get everybody involved. There are, there are reasons that are not related at all. I thought you said you were a an investigator. There are reasons not related at all to like how hard it was to verify the information that the FBI would want to keep that information secret for five to ten years if they thought that it could net them like, you know, major sources of corruption or, or like, you know, treason or shit like that. Besides which, there was already a probe into Hunter Biden at the time regarding his tax liability. So we we don't know if the laptop was, se it was seized via, via subpoena, grand jury subpoena. And I think okay. it was part the, of that sake, ongoing... For I the think sake it, of just conceding what's real, <laughs> if they were continuing the investigation of Hunter or the Biden family at that time, then yeah, they might say, this is too sensitive. We can't confirm or deny these fucking things. Okay? It's a good point. I feel point. like you should concede on having been an investigator. Ch Ch Cherry, Joe. Cherry, Jesus. I've had fucking people <laughs> murdered in my fucking arms, you fucking dumb cunt. Shut your what? fucking mouth. Oh, okay, um, my dad died. Well, who could have murdered them if they were in your arms? <laughs> stop! Stop! This I'm cracking God. the case. Stop. I'm the investigator. God damn it. <laughs> y'all, y'all are actually I, like... My family dog disgusting. died a couple months ago. Uh, what are we sharing here? Wow, you're a disgusting... <laughs> you're actually a bad person. You can go f yourself in the ass with a f***ing 40 cow, you piece of shit. Wow. Yeah, I'm I'm the unhinged bad person here. Okay. Yeah, you actually are. Because the thing is, what else? I do you in my ass, Connor. Okay. Chill, chill. Whatever the <laughs> f you want, you dumb bitch. So how about this? How about yeah? I conducted f investigations. I conducted investigations into child abuse, child porn, people getting f murdered, people getting their houses broken into, their cars broken into, and on top of that, animal abuse and officially fucking child as a abuse. Job. So, officially yeah, as officially a job, as a fucking this? job. Yes, absolutely. I took photographs, I took reports, I documented evidence, and I got people convicted. I put more, ooh, you fucking I put more <laughs> pieces of shit behind fucking ooh, bars I'm have you a job. fuck you, okay? Literally, you oh, child. Man. No, she, literally, you're fucking a dumb, evil, spoiled too bad you have all that experience and it left you this conspiracy brain then jesus connor oh ho, 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 ho. because i'm making logical inferences that the, that are seriously the equivalent of algebra they're you not. guys they're you not. guys they're I extraordinary think, claims and you know it the, no i don't i don't I, know I just all really of my stuff is based off of fucking math you. okay well <laughs> often die you dumb bitch <laughs> jeez wow. that seems drunk? a little rude Oh, like, does it seem rude? Does it seem rude that if I actually had like blood and guts on my hands, I don't think you're brains? an investigator. That's it. Look at what you. What do you think? Patrol. Okay, What's by, wrong all right. With let, you? Let, all right, let, let's do this down. Let, yeah, let, let's so chill angry? this out. Let's chill this out. So, oh, what do you think patrolmen do? Oh, now we're do? gonna chill out after we're talking about what I can do in my ass <laughs> and to yeah. die. Yeah. Now we're gonna calm down. Sure. Okay. What all do you think patrolmen do? He's not just the investigator, he's the regulator of Cherry's ass. Stop, what do, what do you, No, no, no. Let, let, uh, Cherry, what do you think patrolmen do? Depends, what are you patrolling? The middle school? <laughs> okay. What do you think regular street patrolmen do? You said you were patrolling the school. So For one year of my four-year career. Did so you I spent use a three golf years on the road. You I had a segue. It was three. actually super okay, based. So it's not, it's not three years. It's four years. But you were on the road for three years. My my total the... career was four years. I spent one year in the school. I spent three years on the road. What do you think cops do on the road? I listen. I'm not a cop. Um, I'm. Don't back off me. of it. You had an you had an opinion on my professional fucking credentials. Please tell questions. me what you think that the opinions are. No, please I tell me. I, 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 I am I am fascinated. I am I am. Okay, were you artistically focused on your opinion of what law Maybe enforcement a ride patrolmen along? do? Um, if you're on the road, maybe you're pulling people over for traffic violations. Okay, that's a part of the job. What else do you think they do? Responding to calls. And what do you think they do after those calls? 
Connor, can you just get to the point of what you did? No, I I want you to I want they you to tell me drunk, drunk baby. Officers. That's what they do. No, tell tell me what law enforcement yeah, officers I'm do after gonna... they go to a call. Get donuts. Like, where are you going with this? It, listen. So do do they take are... do they take photos? Do they take fingerprints? Do they investigate witnesses? Do they talk to people? Do they cross reference stories? Do they uh, think, process fucking domestic the violence police, claims? Do you they think process police officers fucking paperwork are the ones who take photos for crime scenes? Wait, are you claiming that as a patrol officer are, that you took you crime scene photos? That a, do, are you claiming that a CSI tech no, comes please. to every crime scene? You think I'm you just, have a gotcha, but you're you. such a dumb, ignorant. I haven't I said yes or no. I am okay. asking right, you so me, as a so patrol I'm asking you a officer. Question. I'm asking were you, you a question. the person I'm asking taking you a photos question. at the crime scene? Yes, I was taking photos at crime scenes. Do you think that we have a CSI tech on call for every single crime scene? I would have to know what your county is. Okay, I don't. This posturing is pointless. It's not getting us anywhere. It's, okay, we've gone so far you, off topic. Okay, fine. But Cherry, you don't know what the f you're talking about, and okay, I'm pretty sure if I was meaning about your f focus dead in forensic science, but yeah, I don't know what the f I'm talking about, Connor. Okay, so okay, so answer this question then, Mister Miss f Criminal Justice. Do you think that we have uh, forensics come out to every? F burglary scene i literally answered you that i would have to know what do you think we have them got, do you do you think that we have them come out to every child abuse scene the every animal abuse scene do you think we have fucking photo photo forensics people come out every single fucking time i would like a yes or no just, answer just thank them for I a service i literally Jerry. need to know where you worked i'm not telling you the county where i worked okay, then how about why you would answer I, my question why would i just jump to conclusions on who took on what your protocol was. Like, why would I do that? Because anybody who to did the who job. In because here making anybody shit up who and did the job. Conspiracy brain because and anybody was a fucking who did the job. His because anybody who did the job more than a week would know that CSI techs don't go to burglary scenes. So what this tells me, by the way, I'm going to get real personal because you got real personal with me uh, why so are we calming what down? you're fucking you what your are you degree? saying you haven't no, no, no. gotten personal okay. yet with my ass <laughs> oh oh because i told you to go, go f yourself oh yeah for i think we should have gave up really uh, to to so, so anyways so anyways okay so anyways so what your f degree tells me that you got criminal justice and you got a f photo shit or like photo forensics f uh fascination but then you never followed through is that what you is were too a much of a f fascination whatever the f your goddamn degree is in the fact that you got a criminal justice degree and then you didn't follow through tells me that you were too big of a fucking pussy to actually go do the job. Oh, That's what that fucking pussy. tells me. Okay, how many women did you know on the force? Half a dozen? Out of how many? 40? Do you think it's very common for women to go into policing? Yeah, butch lesbians love it. <laughs> Butch lesbian. Okay. I just, I really don't understand your point here. That if I go to school for criminal justice. My, my point is my that you were too big of a fucking coward to follow through on your degree a program. Cop, I'm a pussy. Uh -huh. And that means that you weren't uh, a middle school cop. Okay. Good job. And you were snaking to get a dunk by assuming that I didn't know what the fuck I was talking about where cops take photos on crime scenes, but you've never done the job, so you didn't know that we don't call CSI text for every fucking scene. That's what happened. And by the he way, never said that you did. I'm and you know what? I'm fucking I loved being a middle school cop because I didn't call anybody a dumb cop because most people were nice and professional and kind and all that kind of shit. Whereas Wait, really this fucking job <laughs> dealing with you, I, I would rather go deal with fucking homeless people who pissed and shit themselves than your rancid fucking ass. Okay. Literally all of this, just because I said that maybe don't call yourself an investigator. Yeah. Hey, Connor, how many conspiracies have you unfurled in your uh, career? As a, in okay, this is turning into a bully session. Stop. It is because he's you think I'm getting because fucking he took photos at a fucking crime scene. He's an investigator, and that means something for his conspiracy theories. Solve the homicide, you dumb bitch! I put somebody behind the light for life. You. Yep. And, and then you were like, on. "Oh my god, I think the FBI hates Trump." Okay, I but figured but it out. That's a stretch. You probably put an innocent person. <laughs> just stop! Oh my god! <laughs> you're just you're just like a dog shit human being.
It's not that personal. We don't. Have, we we can. Well, just I chill. mean, it's, you're, it is okay, pretty personal. Mind him, waves, obviously. Okay, mind waves. You uh -oh. can tell me it's not personal when somebody gets murdered in your goddamn arms, and then you can help crack the investigation that puts somebody behind bars for life. You can tell me it's not personal then. And until then, anybody who acts like her can f themselves, metaphorically, of course. But Connor, <sighs> just to recap, I make sure. <laughs> Why? Why? Just Thank want, you. Okay, just want to ruminate. Well, because this like segued, I thought we were on like the cusp of like consensus, and then oh, Cherry's were we? Ass we were dominated. so close. Well, so so I just oh. want to I want to make sure. Okay, and again, this is the Nyquil potentially, but so is it possible that the FBI, painfully aware of how Russia aggressively worked to hack and engage in disinformation and misinformation in 2016 to interfere in Trump's favor, and also knowing that Russia was trying to do it again in 2020. And also being unaware about the authenticity of the laptop's contents and origins, which are potentially damaging to Trump's political rival. Knowing all that, is it possible that they issued a general good faith warning to these social media companies to try to be a bit conservative, a bit cautious, without putting their thumb on the scale one way or another? And that might be why Matt Tybee didn't find any evidence of direct government pressure on Twitter. Is that specifically possible? attested that there yes, was none? Yes, with an asterisk. The asterisk being that I think they would have had time, in, or especially considering the importance of the case, to verify the truth of the contents of the laptop. But if there was an ongoing investigation, they might have felt bound to not comment on it. There were two so, into Hunter Biden at the time, or at least one into his potential tax liabilities, which began under actually President Obama. So, so I think that the Trump, or I believe that the FBI probably knew that it was true. If there was an ongoing investigation, they didn't feel like it was their place, or they were probably legally bound not to comment on it. And as a result, it could have been a good faith attempt to in uh, what, whatever, like not play into russian disinformation but correct me if i'm wrong didn't the fucking uh so did the new york post get this from gianni or did they get it giuliani. from fucking russia they got it from they got the contents from giuliani so then, how does russia come through giuliani well you're aware that russia and giuliani had pretty close contacts like throughout i mean i think it was not only in 2020 but wasn't wasn't there contact between them and like igor I can't remember the names. Again, the NyQuil's getting the better of me, but I know Giuliani. Like, Giuliani was Trump's uh, attache to, like, Ukraine and Russia um, during his administration. Am I, am I making that up? Wicked Supreme, Mind Waves, Destiny? I'm, I, I'm okay with your assertion. But yeah. then at, the, that, at that point, if they know that the fucking shit is true, then what? Their objection to it is the fact that it came from Russia? That Russia gave to Gianni and Gianni is the one who's made, who we made it public? We don't know that they did know it was true. That's the thing. Also, that we, would be a valid, if they had that the would be a valid objection. Ten months, how would they not know? Because, the, because, well, you asked it earlier, and I thought it was a really good question, you know, about the backlog. Perhaps there was backlog, because if you remember... I said that there was an ongoing investigation into Hunter Biden's potential tax liabilities. And I, I, there wasn't like an investigation into, um, you know, possible uh, corruption or nepotism from Hunter Biden into Joe Biden. And this laptop was seized as part of that. I'm pretty sure because it was seized in December 2019, before 10 months before the story broke, it was seized as part of an ongoing federal investigation into his tax liabilities. So, it's so how did so how did Gianni? So is your assertion that they were doing the they were investigating the tax liability? They they don't verify the contents of the laptop. Gianni, how does Gianni get his hands on it? Giuliani got it from the guy who got it in the first place, the the laptop repair guy, which is how the FBI. So did got Giuliani it. have it first before the FBI did? Yes. Yes, I believe so. Okay, so did he duplicate it or some shit? What the fuck was his he deal? Didn't, didn't Giuliani say he did duplicate it? Or am I making that up? He got a copy. Conspiracy <laughs> brain, you piece of shit. Come with facts. No, he no, wait, a... hold on. Stop. I'm not conspiracy branding. I believe it was stated explicit. Me. Well, no, but I don't appreciate the comparison because I do come with facts, okay? You're the one that has no facts. I'm pretty sure Giuliani did explicitly Ooh. state that I thought that they gave a, I think they gave a copy initially to the FBI, didn't they? 
They didn't give the FBI the original. I thought originally they they gave they gave I thought they gave a copy. They gave a copy of a the co laptop and the hard drive under grand jury subpoena. But Giuliani got a copy too. Giuliani got a copy of it for himself, mm -hmm. and then uh, the FBI took seizure of it um, in December 2019. Gotcha. They okay. So so th this is what's weird to me. Okay, call it call it weird. You don't have to call it a conspiracy. <laughs> If fucking if they know that Giuliani got this shit, maybe got it from the Russians, bullshit story, whatever. They know that he got a copy of it, and that he has access to damning evidence of the other fucking political opponent. Like, maybe the FBI is backed up with counterterrorism shit or whatever the fuck. But how know. in an election year is that not the absolute fucking priority that well, the I Trump campaign is sitting on a fucking nuke? I don't know that the FBI knows. I don't know that the FBI knew at the time that Giuliani had a copy of it, because again, this was December 2019. Giuliani didn't drop the bomb of his copy until October 2020. And as a matter of fact, since you were in law enforcement and so was Supreme or, or whatever. I was not in law enforcement. Because didn't what, tell. Whatever, but I, wouldn't it be, wouldn't Giuliani be in deep shit if the FBI knew like, hey, wait, you have a copy? of sensitive materials uh, you know hunter biden's like laptop and private information you have a copy of it wouldn't wouldn't they take it from giuliani wouldn't giuliani be in legal trouble if they knew uh, potentially had it? i mean it's the yeah so there's like a chain of custody you're supposed to maintain yeah. like the evidence as it goes through a criminal investigation but i don't know what giuliani's responsibilities would be like since he's if, not a criminal investigator the, well like if the fbi is investigating destiny and i have a copy of destiny's like private laptop or whatnot given to me by wicked supreme mm. they would they would say wicked supreme why the hell did you give a copy of destiny's private shit to room like, i i don't I, I don't think i don't think the fbi knew that giuliani had copies of hunter biden's hard drive and laptop because there's okay. still the chain of custody and whether or not it was illegally obtained so, all right, I feel like you're treating me relatively charitably. Do you think that the, do you think that it's possible that Trump and Gianni were incompetent and stupid enough to talk yes, shit? Yes, you had me about right the Hunter, there. Okay, about the Hunter Biden sex tape that they were waiting on in order to drop immediately before the fucking election cycle in order to damage the Biden campaign and that people in DC in general, not the FBI or the DHS, but other people might know about this story before it dropped a week or two. I, I, well, number one, that was absolutely their goal. It was supposed to be an October surprise, a bad faith political nuke dropped at the 11th hour to tank Biden's, uh, you know, trajectory in the election. That was their goal as to whether or not other actors in the trump campaign or the white house or the federal government w was aware of that i mean i'm sure it's possible I, I would not rule that out at all so if you believed me okay hypothetical if if you believed me that the dod hid troops from trump in that most people who encountered trump thought that he was an incompetent buffoon who was unfit for the fucking office that some people might prefer like, like i'm not even going to make an assertion about the election yeah, i can entertain the plausibility of this just show me brain. evidence that it happened okay i don't have evidence well, to answer then I have no reason this is an opinion happened. what's that are, are you asking do hold I on I, no actually i want to no nah, i was just going to play the fucking thing where i walk you through my fucking logic and you can just say yeah that sounds okay um so hold on supreme so i don't I'm making inferences based off of available evidence that I feel are more logical than the rest of fucking conservatism, okay? Because conservatives are making the assessment that DHS and fucking FBI are in direct cahoots, that they had uh, back channel communications that were not visible through the fucking, you know, through the Twitter leaks, that they specifically- I get it. you're alleging that they did a little wink, 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 nudge, nudge, and they got their way incidentally, and then everybody was happy or something. Yeah, with the story sure. being suppressed. But like, even that is, mm -hmm. we, we have evidence that contradicts that, right? We have a story I already. I don't think your evidence says what it thinks it says, or what you think it says. Okay. So, they ex so your your evidence, Matt Taibbi saying that there was no specific no, DM no, more, from a DH. I don't care yeah, what Matt ahead. Taibbi says. I actually don't give a yep. fuck. I don't, I don't consider what Matt Taibbi says to be evidence of anything. It's literally not evidence, right? Okay, I'm listening. Um, it's it's so what's your, what they what's your released evidence yesterday. You called the Twitter files release conservative right wing propaganda. Yes, correct. I did. Okay, 
So does it stand to reason then, if you believe that, that you also believe that they're choosing the pieces of evidence that best draw their narrative, that something was happening within Twitter that conservatives would be happy about, something surreptitious, some sort of like cloak and dagger, uh, undercover behind the scenes, sabotaging of, of Donald Trump and conservatives, and like artificial boosting of liberals, if it's right wing propaganda. Yes. Okay. The evidence that they're showing us contradicts that. The evidence that they showed us was internal discussions where they're showing they're they're discussing having caution because of what happened in 2016, right? Which is likely referring to the Cambridge Analytica leaks and, and the blowback that Facebook received, and the general sort of misinformation campaigns that were waged on social media. I'm reading into that a little bit, but I don't think we disagree that that's probably what they referred to when they were talking about the lessons of 2016. Unless you have another idea. Okay. No. So yeah, go ahead. They're specific. They are not saying anything about any sort of liaising with DHS or FBI, it's not mentioned at all. Wouldn't it be, isn't it safe to assume that like, if it was, we would have been shown that since you, but we both agreed that it was right-wing propaganda. If there was anything condemning for the FBI or the DHS, wouldn't we just have some evidence? Okay, so if you actually want to go nitty gritty on it. So I don't think that you can use SIGINT and, or SIGINT fucking domestically. Right. And if you could, you probably couldn't use it in fucking Matt Taibbi or Elon Musk. They wouldn't have the access to it. OK, wait, what were uh, Elon Musk what? bought the whole company? They have all the internal documents. So they they have all of their phones. They didn't have to get a subpoena. They got the text messages. They got all that shit. And <laughs> on top of that, Matt Taibbi and fucking whoever have they been able to go through it? Well, I don't know if they've gone through it all, but I mean, to a wicked's point, anything that were company assets. Wouldn't if it's, if it's a company, no, no, no. yeah, if it's a company issued phone, but you don't know whether or not it's a company issued phone. You don't know if it's a private phone. Yeah, private conversations off company assets. I see. Okay, just to make it clear, what you're alleging is there's this thing that we don't even know if it like if they had private phones, but they probably did because this supports my narrative or something like that. No, no. no. And if I could, if I could just for the love of God be taken fucking half ass fucking serious for a second okay when you okay. start an investigation you start with a fucking blank slate right you don't know no. shit about fuck excuse me <laughs> you can start with a hypothesis that hypothesis is usually ground in some reality no. let me please just let okay. me explain it. okay so starting from a fucking like a law enforcement investigation standpoint OK, mm -hmm. you start an investigation from a point of zero context. OK, and you add in the context as you get into an investigation. So I'm hang on up on the seat. Hold on. No, 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 no. Don't challenge me. I'm telling you. I'm telling you how I fucking I need this to be clarified. OK, what does well, it mean well, to start something I'm with about zero to context? You literally dream I'm up that a crime was committed. I'm literally about to clarify. Can you okay. please let me talk? OK, so you're rolling up to a fucking scene. There's a woman crying on the fucking street. There's a dude who has fucking marks on his face. There's glass that's fucking shattered on the ground. He he says that uh, she came after me with a fucking frying pan, blah, blah, blah. She says that, oh, he beat me, he threatened me, he choked me, et cetera, et cetera, okay? From there, you start looking into the evidence that's available in front of you. You basically start looking at physical marks. You get the narratives from the people separate from each other. You make sure that they're not within earshot of each other so they can't change their story. If there's independent witnesses, you get the independent witnesses. If there's documents, photos, broken glass, physical like physical evidence of anything, one, you take a picture of everything. Two, if it's valuable, like it's blood evidence or some kind of DNA shit or fingerprints that's relevant to the investigation, you pull all of that and then you bring it in. You're collecting now, kind of like the evidence, yeah. Okay, stop pretending that you know what I'm going to say and then ask me what I'm going to say. I'm okay? rephrasing for you. But yeah, go ahead. Okay, appreciate it. I hope everybody understood it at home. <laughs> so, anyways, after you do that, you look for, you're not looking for the information that's being presented to you. You're looking for the gaps in the information. So, for instance, if, uh, you know, they said that they slammed into this wall or whatever, and he's saying that they were outside at the time, but she's saying that they were inside at the time, and the glass breaks outside of the house because of the way that fight would have occurred you would know that she was probably telling the truth more than him because of the way the glass breaks okay so you're not just relying on simple like discrete data points that you add up into like a perfect amount you, you are though you are though 
From the that, very beginning, oh, you started no, 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 with no, discrete data points. Glass on the ground, an injured man, an injured woman, testimony between the two. That's way more than zero context. That's a fuck ton of context. And you're right. That you work you to identify knowledge gaps, and then you work to other. close those knowledge gaps with evidence. Yes, and what, what I've been saying probably this entire conversation is that I have 85%, and this is part of the reason why I got so fucking pissed off, is... 85% of the picture, the context, the variables, I agree with Destiny on. We don't agree on 85% of That's the... That's not true. Please stop saying that. I'm going to keep fucking saying it because I feel like you're full of shit. But you're dreaming up a bunch of the variables and you can't substantiate so them. So there's the remaining 15% and I'm on Twitch. I'm not a federal investigator with access to SIGINTED human who like rubs elbows with people in the DC beltway. Okay, then you shouldn't be credentialing know yourself when you, when you have these talks. Credentialing myself how? By talking about how I have all this experience writing these reports and doing investigation and, and like closing these cases myself or whatever. I do. And it's relevant to my thought process. It's not applicable. It's it's totally different. How I know how to critically think. Okay, when you say this is just a Twitch shut panel, what you're, shut what you're telling up. me shut is that you up. know shut that it's irresponsible up. to conduct analysis in this way in a professional manner, so you shouldn't be professionally credentialing yourself. I'm not, I'm not in a professional manner and I'm no longer in the profession. Okay, so just to make it really clear that you're affirming that this is like not a professional way to conduct these things. And so like credentialing your, prof your, your professional credentials are irrelevant. If I know how, okay, if through my professional credentials, I know how to read documents, understand them, regurgitate them, look for patterns, and figure out what the fuck is going on. How is that not relevant to the conversation? Because you're I'm saying in a professional somebody, setting, you wouldn't do them this way, which yeah, is in contrast, in direct right. contradiction to the credentials. Okay, so th no, it's not in direct contradiction to the credentials, because basically I've made concession after concession after concession that this is my opinion based off of the available information. No, no, I'm you're copping have out. Opinions. I'm sorry, but you're walking this back. You're copping out so hard because earlier you were saying these are baby step logical leaps and you would be stupid not to accept them as fact. Not to accept them as fact? No, not to accept them as plausible or possible no, no, no. or No, you came probable. in saying that it was basically a proven fact that the FBI, yada, yada, this, that, the other. At, at this point, the reason why I'm so frustrated is because I, like, I can't believe that you think I'm that retarded. So what you're saying is you think that without evidence, I am saying 100% this happened. You're saying they're baby, they're baby steps in logic. And it shouldn't be hard to accept. And okay, in so fact, let me let me walk you through. Okay, so let me walk you through your fucking baby steps. Okay, do you think that <sighs> tech bros have progressive fucking leanings? Yep. Do you think that they would prefer Biden over fucking uh, over Trump? Yep. Do you think that Trump is incompetent? Um, dang, it depends on it. It depends on how yeah. we, we qualify. The answer that. is yeah. By well, the way. The answer is yeah. I, well, you don't I need think, to qualify this. Just no, say I think he's yeah. capable of achieving things that I don't want. He's he's competent in the direction that I don't want, but he's also incompetent in. He's like, not capable of achieving. Do you think, do you think he he's wants, a competent though. commander in chief? Do you think he's a competent commander of uh, of uh, defense forces or security? I don't want him to be president. Agency. That's the best way I can answer that. Okay, you're being a fucking pussy. His, va his values now, are we'll contradictory on. to mine. Okay, his values are contradictory to mine. By the way, the answer to that question was yep. Okay, so some people in the defense establishment and the intelligence establishment, lifelong bureaucrats who believe in the Republic might view Trump as a danger to the Republic and therefore prefer Biden over Trump. Mm -hmm. Interesting story, but we have the internal communications between those tech bros. Even Supreme. if I agree, even if I you agree that the tech bros are left leaning or something like that, we saw their hot debates between them about whether okay, or not they let should me, publish let the me story. Re, let me uh, let me re ask you this question: oh. You Walmart as a fucking employee, and your boss is a dickhead. I'm just not you interested in the evidence fired. you made up in your mind. I'm just not You're, that interested you, in your logical honor. leaps. You you Doesn't said I'm interested in the evidence. Walking. No no no! Fuck this, ruminate. Fuck this. You said you wanted me to walk you that. through my bait. I know. I didn't just... say that. Okay. So, you you didn't want me to walk you through the fucking baby steps? I've already heard it. No, you fucking haven't because we've never walked down this path of fucking logic before. And on top of that, you're pulling back from things that would be like the sky is blue most of the time. That's like but the that's level not of an thing extraordinary that I'm claim. trying to get. That's an ordinary claim. 
So you think it's an extraordinary claim that members of the DOD and members of the intelligence agency would view Trump as a threat to the republic and that they dislike him from a professional standpoint? That I is an extraordinary is, claim. That's not like, just no, 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 that's not no, no. the claim. This is making. the issue is that like you take you take these observations that are almost for sure true, but you don't realize how fantastic the next step is that seems so logical to you, but is actually like the Bayesian on this is almost 0% because you are alleging some of the most fantastic conspiracies that would ever occur in US history. You're saying things like, would the you FBI would the FBI be full of people that hate Trump? Yeah, for sure. Is Trump incompetent as fuck? Yeah, for sure. Would um, Twitter be full of people that hate Trump? Yeah, for sure. Could there be some people in the FBI that would like want to do something to make it so that Trump wasn't president? Yeah, for sure. Would they want to work with Twitter? Yeah, if they could, maybe some would. But then you say, is it possible that multiple people from the FBI got together, used intelligence information that they'd gathered to covertly sell a story to Twitter and then got Twitter to go along with covering up something in order to favor a presidential candidate. What you feel like when you're saying is that you feel like you're doing 5%, 5%, 5%, 5%, 5%, and then you build up to like 85%, and then here's the last 15%, and then boom. But what you're actually doing is you're doing 0.1%, 0.1%, 0.1%, and then at the final one, you're saying 95%. You just don't understand how massive that last leap you're making and that's where all of our disagreements are lying because that last one to you it feels like you're going from 85 to like 100 percent. that's why you keep saying we agree with 85 percent of the stuff but to everybody in here you're or at least to me and supreme what we are hearing is you're going from all the way up to five percent to 100 percent. that's where the difference comes from and that's why we want some kind of proof what is that five percent to 100 percent? because you're alleging and when we say conspiracy this is how supreme and i mean it we don't mean conspiracy like whoa wacky conspiracy thing. we mean a conspiracy and there is a control a hatched plot by multiple members of intelligence to coordinate with social media to backstab the sitting president of the United States to favor an incoming president. That is one of the most wild stories in U.S. history if it was true. Maybe the most. That may be the most. Like, it's more scandalous than Watergate, right? It's more than that. So, like, that's it's all I'm saying. It's not more scandalous than Watergate. It's not even more scandalous than how fucking Lincoln got elected in the Republican primary. Okay, you're this just, like you're just wrong. Mild shit. It's, this is. Can you think of a single story that would compare to this that was what did, real? What in did the past I 50 say? Years? The FBI and DHS fucking social media reps did. What did I say that they did? You said that they knew a bad story was coming out that would impact an incoming presidential candidate, and that they reached and out. And they said, "Hey, social media companies, look out for Russian disinformation in the next couple of days." Mm -hmm. Yes, you're, with you're the intention of you don't getting think that they have some level of fucking plausible deniability if you're it not, ends that's up not, that that's fucking. Not, we, we're, mm. we're not going to connect on this. All the questions that you want to ask, you don't think this is. Mm. We all agree that those things are possible. It's the contriving of this plan. There is not a single plot you can give me that's happened in the past thirty years that is even remotely that in, insane. Like nothing. You Dude, can think of anything. I, I, that, that I would literally be brought up one from the past five. That Which, happened that? under Trump's watch. Wait, what? That the oh, fucking was DOD the was cooking the books on fucking it. troop levels in Syria. You can sigh all the fuck you want. And on top of that, you can act like I'm fucking crazy. But here's the thing. Like, all of my inferences are, like, you can say, okay, basically, you're saying 0 .01. It's not 0 .01. It's 5. And then it's 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5. We get up no. to, like... 75, 80, and we're agreeing with each other, and then I'm using the remaining fucking 20% in order to infer human behavior based off of my experiences within institutions in order to fill in the fucking 20% as my opinion, by the way. Just my fucking opinion. Having an opinion out loud in public, which compared to the rest of the fucking lunatics that I fucking deal with on the right and the fucking left, this opinion is infinitely more fucking based off of human interaction and professional fucking experience than half the dog shit the rest of these fucking cunts say. So I'm actually okay, really hold on, wait. Just to be clear, right about. what you're saying flies in the face of anybody that has ever worked in any of these communities ever, and I am 100% confident Bullshit. that I could, I could bring Bullshit. on- Bullshit. Make a $10,000 bet on that, I could bring on, I could bring on any single person in, in, that has ever worked yeah. in intelligence, and here is what they'll tell you. They'll tell you, I, I, I don't even think I've talked to Sir that, they, that they here's, all here's follow the, the one fucking rule that Supreme brought up because nope. they're perfect little fucking nope. automatons nope. who nope. don't have nope. opinions. Here is what real human beings, I don't know what Supreme will say. If he disagrees with me, he's wrong because I've heard this enough from other people. Here's what they'll tell you. 99% of people working in intel are normal Americans. They like their country. They want to do a 
job. They do the best that they can. Some of them really don't like the president. Some of them really like the president, but they typically show up, they do their work, they report to people above them, and that's it at the end of the day. That this idea that like it's all like Hollywood movies where all of these like line love these like frontline uh, intel seekers are like trying to covertly grab up pieces of data and coordinate with other people when they don't even have the full picture of the shit going on sometimes right and they're trying to hatch these plots that is fan not only is that fantastical but it betrays the average member that works in US intelligence who's just a normal American that like what like what you're talking about is some high level conspiratorial brain shit that most people working in intel just won't they're just not these people, types of people I'm talking about people no this is bullshit Okay. I'm talking about people who have bachelor's degrees in geo, you know, geopolitics and fucking history and science and fucking all this other shit in order to go work in a field that they're interesting that they're interested in. Not only are they interested in it, they're recruited from fucking elite level fucking uh, like selection processes. Some of them involving physical fucking requirements and a lot of them requiring mental requirements and academic requirements. Maybe Not only that, I'm talking agents. about no, 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 no. I'm talking about fucking people who basically spend their entire lives eat, breathing, and fucking sleeping geopolitics, counterterrorism, violence, and politics inside the fucking beltway. The fact that you're dismissing these people as fucking, uh, I don't know, DMV employees, that is fucking disconnected I think from so. reality. This is, so I'm going to make this guess here. And again, Supreme, now this one I'm not as confident of. And Supreme, tell me if you think I'm wrong. But my guess is, is that the average Intel worker is a lot closer to a DMV worker than a fucking Tom Clancy secret agent. Supreme, do you want to, do you want to cite your professional credentials or do I need to cite them for you? If, if you want to, but real quick, I would just say that Destiny's characterization, uh, I think, matches my experience and my coworkers. In fact, like when I was there, I literally like I, I said that like the NSA was like a blue collar. It was like working a blue collar job because of the people. It was like the blue collar intel agency because people were just like so blue jeans and fucking, you know, whatever to work and like normal people. Yeah, having yeah, barbecues yeah. It, intercepting the fucking intel and translating it through multiple languages in order to find people through a. Uh, in, uh, yeah, they had jobs. Yes. Hold, on, hold on. No, no, no. Hold on. Hold on. I'm <laughs> they not done had, yet. They had... um, recognizing flight patterns and star patterns in order to pinpoint terrorists in uh -huh. order to hit uh -huh. them with bombs. It's just working fucking nine to five, you guys. A lot, a lot of them were people in the military. A lot of them like, came through the A lot of them came through the military and were like picked up and recruited through the military. Yeah. So what 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 did you just say that disagrees with what the fuck I just said? Like, you're trying to highlight all these special skills as if only an incredibly interested person in ousting a president in, like, an internal coup would possibly be interested yeah, or something like that. You're reading so much shit into this. Listen to the words I'm oh, saying I and see. not the fucking that words that you think That kind of is how you're presenting it, that these are, like, extra exceptional, crazy fucking people that, like, they're not. They're, like, just normal dudes that, like, work Oh, jobs. okay. All right, yeah. FBI, CIA, DHS, they're all just fucking normal people. As a matter of fact, yeah. we could take a Walmart employee Bro, right now and I'm... just fucking throw them Connor, into the job, and they would Connor, be perfectly Connor, fucking good at it. The fact that you would utter... This DHS retarded. in the same statement mm. as FBI and CIA is fucking hilarious. Okay. Department but, of Homeland Security? Excuse yes. me, is the fucking Coast Guard a part of the Department of Homeland Security? Bro, the TSA. Do they have intel? Bro. Do they intercept terrorists? Do they fuck with narcos? Do they kill people? Do they shoot people? Do they have fucking high tempo ops? Yes, they do. Shut the fuck up. I know what I'm talking about. Okay. Wait, and then let, me, that, let me just ask did, you, for, for knowing what you talk about, have you ever been in these institutions? Have you been to Quantico? Like, have you been to Fort Meade? Have you worked with yes. these people? Okay, yes! and, that, and you're telling me that was your experience? Was that it was all like uh, these these fucking people that want to move and shake the world, and not just like like special forces operators, like all of these people right. are like. Yeah, that's what I said. Anyway, so uh, fucking Supreme, you're talking about how uh, everybody's just a fucking DMV employee and we can just take fucking Walmart employees and interchange them with, uh, you know, basically the entire institutions of America. I, They're all just bored. They're totally uninterested in their jobs. Killing terrorists. Not bored or uninterested. They're, ha they're is just not... happy to be working. Yeah. Bro, and a lot oh, of these yeah. people. Hold yeah, on. they're, they're just paying a people, check. They're, you're just bro, nine to five. They have no A lot of these people, opinion. these people aren't uh, like. I, no, as wait. a matter of fact, there was this law that was passed 50 fucking years these ago people... that says that you can't have political opinions. So uh, I guess we can't have a fucking the, Wero, the average really intel person the average intel person is oh also God. not killing terrorists like a lot of the intel that you get is th this is like highly segmented shit there's not a guy who like starts off like today your mission is to find out this operative you're going to research his entire family you're going to figure out exactly where he's going then you're going to push the cords into the drone then you're going to verify that he's killed like bro this shit is like super no compartmentalized shit. Like, i worked in the yeah that takes fucking that's 40 people's job not one person's job and i'm friends with six of them Jesus. And Connor, for, Connor, for the record, I do think a Walmart employee could be a TSA agent, and in the same lifetime, 
I'm just gonna okay, say that. All right. Anyways, so the fucking. All right, it's funny because so we have this joke like it, you know instead mm -hmm. of like I'd tell you but I'd have to kill you is like I'd tell you but it'd bore you to death. That's like it wouldn't bore me. That's to what death the job is. This is my autistic fascination. Um. So anyways, so were isn't your personal history the fact that like you were just bored one day and decided to take on one of the most difficult linguistics challenges in the world in order to learn a different language as an adult and then become a security contractor translating shit? Isn't that your personal backstory? Uh, not that I was bored one day. It's I was in Detroit in 2008 and I was fucking like on the brink of homelessness and needed work. So I joined the military and I happened to qualify. I, I walked into a recruiting office and oh. said, I want to I want to learn Chinese. And they were like, oh, we have a program for that. And I was fortunate oh, enough to qualify. A homeless for it. genius learns Chinese and becomes a fucking translator in the space of a decade. Wait, are you going to tell me conspiracy theories about my own life now? He's, oh my God, hold he's on, wait, interchangeable with this. a Walmart wait, wait, employee. I just want to verify this. You actually think like an average FBI CIA agent is like an elite fucking Fucking like special forces Navy SEAL fucking. No, operative. he's a fucking accountant with a four-year degree, but he's probably interested in geopolitics. Again, this is like water Wait, is wet. Shit. I didn't. Inter I didn't have a degree. <laughs> I failed out of college. Yeah, like, no, what's your IQ, like, you dumb right fuck? No, I think you have this. I think you have this view of like the average Intel worker as being literally like Matt. Like you go to work and all of your coworkers are Matt Damon. Like that's what you think. No, I feel like you're strawmanning the fuck out of me because basically I'm saying that these people are above average intelligence and you're saying that they're interchangeable with anybody. Okay, Which we're above average intelligence. Does that mean that we won't answer, answer this fucking question? Answer this fucking question. Do you think the average American can go from the brink of homelessness to learning Chinese? No, I'm sure that- Okay, I'm as, sure wait, that as it turns out- Go fuck yourself wait, wait, wait. with this as it turns line out, of questioning. First of all, Chinese is the most popular bag. language in the world, so it can't as be As it that turns out, a quarter of the Earth's population <laughs> speaks Chinese. It's not that extraordinary. <laughs> okay. The right. one, two. So, what, so what's all, this like, have to do I just, with- I just want to see how stupid this fucking conversation would be from the outside, that you're telling me that as an adult who doesn't have any economic prospects, you can show up someplace and just learn fucking Chinese. By the way, I'm it was a bilingual. long, hard process. Yeah, no it was shit, dumb difficult. fuck. That's why you're not interchangeable with a DMV fucking a lot employee of work. or a fucking Walmart employee. Yeah, but a lot Jesus of people that also Christ. came out of that program with me were not extraordinary geniuses. I'm just, I'm glad that we got to this level because one of the things that I talk about on stream all the time is I think that a lot of the, because this actually makes a lot of sense. A lot of the conspiracy mm -hmm. theories that people have relating to government, I think come from just fundamental misunderstandings of how a lot of these agencies, other people in them work. And this is one of them. Um, the idea that like an average intelligence worker is this like fucking like 145 IQ, benches, three plates, like this massive unstoppable, like geopolitically minded, speaks four languages, like the average intelligence worker, and I, I'm not trying to shit on That's anybody that works in intel. It's a beret, dude. The You're talking average, about five different the, jobs. The average intelligence worker is probably like doing a bit more than like the average DMV worker. In fact, DMV jobs might be more wow. stressful depending they, on no, the city you're in. No, I will they, say this, that. Okay. No, no. I would say this, I'm, this is, I'm extraordinary. The roles that I filled were extraordinary. And and like my role that I filled like comprised a very small percentage of like the average Intel analyst, whatever, what I want to see the you. Amazon show about okay. your life. No, this is, this is, this is fucking insane. Jack Reacher Insane cope. Three. That basically like I, you guys. Your whole world is coming you... apart. Do you mean to tell me these people are just normal humans? <laughs> I can't believe it. It's insane. No, it can't You're, be. Okay, no, 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 no. Your argument, it, like, like, seriously, I think anybody outside of this conversation would call you both retarded. I agree. Like, to pretend I would have called myself retarded average, like five years what ago. What average bureaucratic cream just went off I would the street agree. and I learned would, Mandarin and was fighting I would agree. Oh, yeah. I would yeah. Agree. Wicked I would Supreme agree. learned Mandarin I just would, another day at the yeah, office. I would agree Shut with you. Fuck. But I like, like three years. There are just yeah, no shit. <laughs> I don't Wait, know, it took, you, it took you two to three years to learn Mandarin after being homeless. I wasn't homeless. I was on the brink of. I was. I was I in see. a bad position. I didn't. I thought well, you learned I in like three weeks. You're considerably less cool than I. I was destined expecting. to clean carpets to support my. No, I made that. Uh, I don't have. Okay, a yeah, and now we have another fucking. Oh, oh, I yeah, didn't yeah. want to work a blue collar job. Like, I wanted to move up in I'm the world. Just like and I was you not guys. Not okay, hold on. Hold on. I gotta fucking be my dusty a little bit. I'm just like you guys. I was fucking cleaning carpets. I just single handedly pioneered an entire debate in politics empire. Anybody can do it. I don't understand what the lesson is here. No, no, it it, okay. it is it is the, it's like the standard both of you guys misconception. Are not above average intelligence, and it's pissing me off. It's, it's the legitimately pissing me off. It's the standard misconception 
and the people that work in intelligence are like these, they're doing these insane fucking jobs. Like the average person um, that is like working in intelligence is basically like James Bond or like Matt Damon, or they're working with James Bond or Matt Damon. That's Destiny, like who are, are you saying this think. for the audience's benefit? Or are you saying this for my benefit? Who are you saying this no, to? No, you're not going to believe anything I say. I understand. Because I understand your background and like wh wh where do, you're do, getting do, these do ideas Do you think from. that I think the average yes. person in fucking Supreme's contract shop is Jason Bourne? Yeah. Or close to it, yes. Okay. I think you do, yeah. Okay, so can, can I describe this for you real quick? Basically, what happens is there's tech nerds. They fucking intercept communiques, but they don't know how to translate, and all they know is fucking tech shit. They Unless get the they fucking do, baby. communiques. Shut the fuck up. They get the communiques, they go to fucking translators, like Supreme, who learned Mandarin after being fucking almost homeless for three weeks. He translates the shit. If he knows <laughs> Arabic, Farsi, Pashto, or a language from the Middle East and North Africa, that's probably actionable intelligence, and depending on the fucking target, that will get put into a target packet. The target packet is a compilation of a whole shitload of fucking information that basically comes down to, like, demographics, geolocation, political affiliation, family relationships, finances, all the shit that the, the NSA and the CIA are pulling out of the ether from both human, human intelligence and uh, uh, fucking uh, signals intelligence. And by the way, you don't have to be Jason Bourne to this do this. This is why you keep you can saying be that I was a, a fucking here's, Wait, okay, here's a statement. Wait, shut the fuck up, shut the fuck up, shut the fuck up. You can You're professing about shit you don't know person. about. You can be, then correct me when I'm done talking. Honor, you enough about the DMV. Pencil, what about the intelligence no, community? you can be a fucking pencil-necked fucking dickhead who weighs 145 pounds soaking fucking wet, who can't lift a fucking 20-pound dumbbell and do any of these fucking jobs. But then when you get to the fucking packet to the basically the analysts, the analysts compile all of this information and they see what actually makes sense. Once they make sense of it, they can do crazy shit. Like, basically pinpoint people based off of open source social media photographs. And once they pinpoint those fucking people, if they find a general area that they can do it, they can feed those people to fucking drone pilots. And drone pilots are looking for fucking cell and radio signals that correlate with the activity that they're looking for. Once they find that, they can okay, verify the, whether or not the they can find shit. this no fucking cares. person. Everything you, just everything, you just, person. everything you just described is done with fucking huh? software, my dude. Not because people are fucking masters at GeoGuessr, okay? Here's the reality, okay? So, do you think any... Any person in that food chain is average or below average intelligence? Here's, if you say yes, I'm disconnecting. No, they're slightly above average, Connor. Here's the reality. There you go. If, yes. Connor, no if, Connor if you can get a four-year degree in any U.S. institution, you can get a job in intelligence. That's the reality. Okay. All right. So if if don't don't ascribe me the position that everybody fucking benches fucking three hundred pounds because the you know who those guys are they're fucking green berets and they're fucking socom sure. and if the and the, if the target is fucking high enough risk those dudes are above average intelligence and have four year fucking sure. degrees do you agree with my, and they do fucking you agree do my, steroids do you agree with and my lift statement? a bunch of weights do you agree and then with my they statement? go and do you agree shoot with my people in the fucking anybody face. that can get a four year degree can get a job in intelligence okay so I took four minutes to explain the fucking position that you assigned to me, which is I think everybody in Intel is fucking Jason Bourne. Okay? Do you think that and anybody the reason that why get a, I'm that pissed off? No, 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 no. I'm okay. fucking annoyed with you okay. because you keep assigning retarded positions to me as if okay. I'm a fucking sub-80 IQ fucking person, and it pisses me the fuck off. So, Connor, question. Okay. Um, Based on the two competing theories that we were discussing about Hunter Biden's laptop and, and that whole thing, have we at least moved you on which one is more probable? Even if no, they're 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 <laughs> both your your <laughs> shit is no 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 no. Okay, there's a certain amount of information that I can say that like I know for a fact because I have thing that fucking you know backs up my facts. I am perfectly fine interjecting my opinion and if people disagree with my opinion that's you're, fine well you're if they don't no, you're like my inferences or my logic that's fine just don't treat me like i'm fucking retarded no sure and you're entitled to your opinion and i i accept that there's all the possibilities that you laid out my question is of the two do you still think that the opinion you came into this conversation with is the more likely explanation for what happened Okay, so you're you're asking me whether or not everybody in the system is a good faith uh, a good faith actor that they all held up their hands and swore their <laughs> oaths and looked at their constitutions and their Bibles on the morning they decided to do what they did, 
And instead of um, choosing to try to fuck over an incompetent dipshit who shouldn't be in charge of a fucking McDonald's, let alone the country, they just said, you know what, we're going to play the game straight and we're just not going to comment on this story because uh, of our personal uh, principles, ethics, and laws. Or, in in my hypothetical, um, basically, these people are self-interested, have alliances, have alliances and uh, self-interest that makes sense, and it makes sense that they would try to fuck over Trump. It doesn't make um, sense. Even if somebody was highly motivated, to I, do I don't that. care about your opinion. You, you've literally tried to <laughs> gaslight me for the past fucking twenty. You've tried to gaslight I, me for the past twenty minutes that I, you I, are I, as I, intelligent I, as a fucking McDonald's worker. I don't I, care about your opinion anymore. I, I, I actually worked at McDonald's as a kid. Yeah, no shit. You, you, I your really what does this have to do with anything, though? Now. It was like, never my position. Just because you're pretending you're It was never my position that I wasn't like sick. above average intelligence. Because an above average intelligence person can still be principled or can still recognize the high consequences uh, when it comes to like breaking federal law. That's why we used to joke about like, oh man, I ain't saying that. I, I don't want to go to Leavenworth or whatever the fuck, right? You're alleging that like a conspiracy happened that people would get in serious, serious trouble for saying that they're super smart, but not smart enough to know that they could fucking go to jail for some of this shit. I can think what of like- What could they go to jail for? Tell me what they could go to jail for breaking based the hatch off of the actions that I said. Be, breaking the Hatch Act. What, how did they break the Hatch Act based off of what I said? Okay, so you're alleging- Okay, this is what makes it conspiracy. A conspiracy mm -hmm. is an agreement in private to accomplish something illegal with plausible deniability. Why is it illegal? It's we got chat- Hey, hold on, hold on. We got chatter over the comms that Russia was planning a major disinfo campaign and we warned the social media companies. Wait, how did I break the law it's, or it's interject? It's illegal because- No, no, hold on. Uh huh. You fucking asked me because it would be a plot to accomplish something that they could not do openly with the intent to accomplish an illegal thing. But I didn't do any of that. All I did was warn the social media yeah, companies. You're, you're talking about plausible deniability. That doesn't make it not illegal. Oh, well, okay. Well, I guess. Uh, you're you saying know, it was that's, just, that's a, just really, opinion, it was bro. a deftly, you're just saying that it was a deftly orchestrated conspiracy. But it's, it would still be illegal. Yeah, but he's saying that if you got caught is... by like some officer or something, that you could just like wink, wink, nudge, nudge, and go, "Oh, well, I didn't actually expose you to say it, so I should be good." Like this would work anywhere. Like that's what he's alleging. Bro, you don't. Yeah, because okay. the CI dudes are not acquainted well, with uh, <laughs> with know, uh, plausible you know, deniability. Okay, Connor, how much you... do you think comes across? Hold on, shut the fuck up. Everybody, shut the fuck up. <laughs> how much do you think comes across some? How much intel do you think comes across somebody's desk on a fucking weekly basis? Depends on probably where they work. How much in intel? Though, right? Like, what is that yeah. question? Okay. Uh, basically, how much information do you think is available to the average fucking person? Do you think that those people could actually have legitimate fucking Russian disinfo that's coming across the fucking wire, but they don't think that it's big, but they're going to pretend that it's big? Is that that fucking hard? Wait, what? Hold that. on. Yeah. And yeah, you could. What? <laughs> what? Why do you think I could? Wait, like, first off, I don't even know exactly what you're asking. What is the frequency of juicy material uh, that gets reviewed, like, compared to not juicy material? Is that what you're asking? Yeah, pretty much. No, and I can't fucking answer. There's that. always something juicy. That's the answer. There's always something juicy. Uh, interesting answer. <laughs> I don't know what to say. Do it sounds like agree? a very learned, educated answer that it's there's always something juicy. Do you not think? Oh, uh, okay. Uh, dude. Yeah. I, like, no, I do not. At, think. At, at this at this point, like I can't tell if you're pretending to be dumb or if you're just okay, like you're if you're just trying to you're win the argument. Pretending to know understand. shit about things that you don't actually know about. That's the, Please, that's the okay, pretending that's fact, happening. No, no, this is perfect. I, you know what? I don't need to go to sleep. How about you tell me what I got wrong? Tell me what okay. I got wrong in my fucking chain of events uh, describing mm -hmm. intelligence. Please tell me, Mr. Intel expert. Mm -hmm. I can tell you. So, for example, mm -hmm. I, I'm one person that contradicted your entire understanding of, of, like, the entire chain of operations that can happen in, like, a reporting shop or an Intel, like, an analyst shop or yeah, something so like me. that. Yeah, so it can be the case that one person fills all those roles that you mentioned. It doesn't have to be like as piecemeal as you're saying. And sometimes it can go back and forth between like two or three people or whatever. Like it sounds like you had one experience with a reporting shop or like an analyst shop or something like that. And you think that reflects upon like all the operations from, from like all the major intelligence agencies, which there's like fucking 17 of them. So, so what your your major issue with me describing the way that information comes into the DoD in order for people to get killed is that I described it as being five people and sometimes it's two or three. <sighs> That's your major objection to what I said. Do you so have, there's do an you entire there's an entire production chain process. That, there's an entire yeah, production chain process that you would be acquainted with if you worked with it more than like a handful of times or something like that. And the way you mm -hmm. described it sounds like you took a class that explained how it works. 
Okay. So, yeah, so enlighten me. Listen. Uh, well, actually, wait. Can I take a stab at this? And Wicked, you can tell me if this is close, okay? This is This was my prior understanding, okay? My prior understanding would be that, like, you're assigned to monitor information coming in about Donald Trump. So all the information that comes across the wire is like if it's flag Trump, you go over it, you analyze it, you decide if it's important enough to pass off to your commanding officers. And so there's all sorts of insane stuff that might come over your desk because like you're the guy in charge of like that file, right? That was my earlier understanding, okay? But after talking to a lot of people and being with people that have worked in this industry, this is what it's been explained to me. And this might not be accurate, and can correct me, but this is more what it's like, okay? Your assignment might be like one particular area that information comes out from. 85% of it is just like dud bullshit chatter that means nothing. There might be something that's kind of interesting, but you don't mind not even have the context to understand it. So you pass along some stuff that you might think is interesting, depending on what you're assigned to like a CEO or somebody above you or whatever, who will decide like later on, like how if you need to look into anything more or if you you get to sign anything else but largely a lot of the information comes it's kind of, maybe something is really juicy but like the chance of you getting something that is verifiable that is really juicy that you understand that's like relevant like contextual to something else is like pretty rare that like most assignments are, are just like very boring where very does the juicy stuff go well like the ju the juiciest stuff my understanding is that the quote, quote juicy decision stuff decision makers is, no no the juiciest stuff is going to be a lot of disparate intel collected by different people that's put together by other teams or by higher people that are able to put together a more compelling story. But raw and intel. And where does it go? I don't. I don't know. It, it could go to other intelligence it's agencies. It could go decisions. Yeah, sure. It could, it could go to policymakers. It could go, it could go to the but maybe not. A lot of not it probably, a lot of it probably dies on the floor. Also, people within the executive, the within the fucking executive organization who would make decisions. Yes, but those people okay, who are yeah, making so Supreme, decisions. So please. Oh, okay, sorry. Oh, sorry, go ahead. I'm sorry? Um, so so basically, uh, your major objection to my uh, explanation of the I already fucking said it. I already said it. You can go back and listen oh, to it again if you're, if you're so, interested. Oh, okay, okay so, so your major, it. your major, lot, your, your, your genius fucking okay. gutting I already of my opinion this. is the fact that instead of it being five people, it could be two no, people. No, that's not it. I already, I, I'm sorry, I already explained it. You can go back and listen so to it again, again if you're interested. No, I'm not rewinding okay. this shit. Say it again. Otherwise, Your I don't get a description of how a production chain works. Sounds like you took a class or you interfaced with like one or two offices that did this or something like that. And that's it. Okay. So so say where it's wrong. Uh, listen, on some level, I still respect the convention of operational security, okay? So I don't I don't like to comment too much about like uh like the operations and how they're conducted and the processes and stuff like that. And, and like how intelligence is performed. And that's why I don't want to comment on like the number of what is what is like the consequential information versus non-consequential because you can start to divine um, things out of those figures, right? Loose lips sink ships. So I, I don't work for the government anymore, but I still respect like, you know what I mean? First off, it's more than that. I respect it. Like, I don't want to go to fucking prison. So I don't want to okay. sit here and like dick measure with you all night about, you know, the standard operating procedure of how this organization does this and that or whatever. It's, it's irrelevant. I don't care. Like it's not it's not relevant at all to your analysis about how the FBI surreptitiously you know put forward a plan to nudge the ball or something like that to roll in the direction of Twitter uh, censoring the the Hunter Biden you know story despite the fact that in their internal discussions they literally never fucking mention it and refer to 2016. Your analysis, your narrative contradicts what we have evidence for, and you know what? I can still be convinced of your narrative if you bring me some fucking evidence. Okay. I'll, What's it going to take you? My, What's it going to take you? What is it going uh, to take for, to convince you of the story that we have all the evidence for and makes perfect sense? So actually, yeah, go ahead and summarize to me your story. Okay. 2016 happened. Uh, Cambridge Analytica leak. Facebook got a lot of blowback. Uh, in okay. the next go, election cycle... Go ahead and refresh Cambridge Analytica. What was the, what was the bullshit of it? I would have to. I can't give you a detailed analytic breakdown of Cambridge Analytica. I would probably get a bunch of details wrong. It's been a while since I've looked it at it. Just summarize it for me. It was, it, it was Russian it, it was bullshit. It was the fucking piss no, no, documents. I, wasn't was it, it essentially that there was an advertising company that was able to get information that was way, 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 way too precise about voters, and they were able to use that information to advertise in ways that were like that went way beyond what an advertiser should be able to for Facebook. I think that was like the general gist of it. Um, I'd have to go back and look at the exact details. What? So they so. bought intel from a foreign company or a no, 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 no. It was, but it was, f it was from Facebook. That's why it was so scandalous. Is because the level of um, oh, granularity Facebook that they was had, selling information. But, but more specific than it should have been. Yes. Okay. All right. Okay. I'm tracking and, so far. So this, Facebook this was caught linked, shit for selling information. And this was linked to, um, to like Russian. Uh, like interference campaigns to interfere with our election by buying ad space on Facebook or something like that. Like I said, like 
Uh, I can only describe this in a very general way. I'm, I don't want to comment on it too much because I'm afraid of getting the details wrong, and there's a lot of details to get right. That's fine. Uh, on Dude, this, I'm, right? Okay. As so, contentious as this night has been, I, like, part of what's pissing me off is I respect both of your intellects. So okay. when you act so this, stupid, it pisses me off. This is a high-profile thing that happened, right? And we, we know that it happened. Mm. Um, there's, okay. right? There's tons of evidence. Four years ago, social media companies mm -hmm. are sketchy. So social media companies are already on the lookout to prevent this from happening again because they have a capital interest too, right? They have a vested interest in, in like their, their stock shares, right? The value of their shares, um, to, to prevent this from happening because it negatively impacted Facebook. Mm -hmm. And so, more importantly, there's a huge fear from these companies that if shit like this happens, that Congress is going to get involved and start heavily regulating them. And that's like, that might be like a death blow to your fucking company. That's what everybody's so fucking afraid of. So okay. election Almost season in. election season comes around. Uh, it can be the case that FBI and DHS say, hey, election season's coming around. Like, keep an eye out for misinformation, right? And this can be okay. a general thing. And this can refer to thousands of stories that end up getting spread. They, it could be referring to more ad space that gets bought up by, you know, whatever, like foreign actors that are just trying to have the slightest influences uh, in our election. So they make this mm -hmm. claim, right? And then um, there's the Hunter Biden story, right, that ends mm -hmm. up being covered neatly under like a, an article of their TOS for hacked materials. They're like, holy sh like here's private information about a private individual uh, that released without their consent from like a piece of their technology. The story is suppressed for this reason. There's internal debate over whether it should be suppressed because it's also kind of like a pressing topic about like, you know, you know, a, a prospective can can a presidential a candidate's minor, son or whatever the fuck. Can I put a very minor asterisk under your shit? So sure. the minor asterisk from my perspective is the fact that basically I saw a... I'll, I'll look for it if I need to. But basically, I saw chatter in the fucking Twitter DMs where they're saying this technically doesn't fit the fucking hacked materials. And as a result, we're shoehorning it. And people outside of our outside of Twitter are giving a shit for it because it technically doesn't fit the TOS. But that's, yeah, a sure, that's that part true. of the debate. That is true. Okay. Yeah, that's part of okay, the debate. I'm listening. So um, as a result of this debate, they decided, you know what, even if this does fit under the TOS, like in, in the most technical sense, we're going to change our operating, you know, uh, we're going to change the TOS to basically allow us to let these stories go forward if they're in like the greater public interest or something like mm. that. And that's okay. it. That's it. Like there's no mention of FBI, DHS warned us about this story or, or we were heeding the FBI or DHS's general warning. They don't even mention that. They literally just say, we're, we're worried about the lessons of 2016, uh, we're going to, you know, like, we kind of don't know what to do with this. It kind of falls under this for right now while we figure out what to do. And then they figure out what to do and they change their TOS. Okay. So I'm okay with what you said. Uh, as far as like plausibility or whatever the fuck, I'm okay with it. Give me one second. Um, here is the link just so people don't have to fucking look for it. Uh, can people post links to your YouTube chat or no? YouTube chat? I don't think so. I'd have to be DGG. Alright. Well, then I'll DM it to you. Wait, DM it to Wicked Supreme. Uh, I'm building a factory right now. No. DM it to you so you can read it later, cunt. But also DM it to Supreme. Okay, I I'm gonna ask you, is there any part of this story that's not that you feel is not supported by evidence? No, I think that the that story makes sense so far. And then the the only thing that you're that's going on that I think is like the difference um, between our perspectives is you're assigning a higher level of like charity to these people than I do. It's not I charity. I'm looking at the evidence. I'm looking at what they're literally saying. Why why are you quibbling with me? Why am I conceding to ninety five percent of what the fuck you said and you're still fucking because I'm taking with contention me? with the thing that you're saying that I don't think is true. Oh, unless you okay. think I just shouldn't do that, I should just kowtow and. No, okay, so okay. But what I think that you guys aren't factoring in your decision-making, that I am, is that I am aware of, through professional and personal fucking contacts, that people strongly dislike Trump to the point that they were willing to hide shit from him. They were willing to fuck him over. They were willing to cook the books in the DOD. But what and does this, this have to do with Twitter? So if I know that mid-level bureaucrats in the DOD got wink-wink, nudge-nudge, direction from fucking higher level DOD in order to cook the fucking books and everybody was smart enough to do it and keep it a relative secret, why would the FBI be any fucking different? Okay, because it wouldn't be up to the FBI. We're looking at the Twitter files, which involves the internal discussions of Twitter employees. 
I told you already, I can entertain the plausibility of your story. It's not hard to believe that it could be true, but beyond entertaining the plausibility, I'm going to need to see some evidence. Yeah, Connor, well, okay, can you just clarify then... one thing? If you, are sure. you, Because I think we might be talking past each other just right here at the end. Are you assuming bad intent from Twitter or the FBI slash no. DHS? Both. No, and this is this is actually part of this is part of what's frustrating for me. I feel like everybody is acting within their moral framework. Destiny even brought up their moral framework. Um, basically, like uh, part of what Destiny brought up was the fact that like, couldn't it just be that uh, you know Twitter had to balance like the um, whatever, not just their TOS. But like the public interest, uh, maybe it was just a TOS. Maybe I'm reading shit into there. Uh, but um, you know, balance the TOS versus the public interest, and as a result, they had conflicting morals, and they had to go with what was more, most practicable. Um, I think that these people have a higher level um, fucking moral system, and that moral system involves Trump being dangerous for the republic, and as a result, whatever they can do to get him out of office within reason. Um, is suitable because there's a higher level morality, which is fuck Trump. Okay, then let me rephrase. Let, let's take the morality thing. Or do you take issue mm. with the actions of Twitter or government security agencies or both? Because okay, because mm -hmm. Supreme is defending Twitter, and it seems like you're criticizing law enforcement. And Destiny just pr propositioned the idea that you have issue with both. And I'm looking for clarity here. I'm not, I'm not defending Twitter. To be clear, well, I'm defending the idea that well, Twitter did anything at the FBI or DHS's behest yes. because we don't have any evidence. And, we, and in fact, like the people releasing the Twitter files uh, that are fed this information <coughs> through the person who owns the company who made a big, you know, like grandstanding uh, announcement about how he was going to blow the lid off of all the collusion or whatever the fuck, they seem to have searched yeah, far and, and wide sure, in their internal documents. That, that's, that's what, I'm sorry, that's what I mean when I say defending mm -hmm. Twitter. I'm just speaking in shorthand here. So, so Connor... Can you please clarify uh, which of the two parties you take issue with, or is it both of them? Yeah, so it, this is actually funny because if you, I'll try to be brief. If you go back to my fucking tweets, I've been throwing, part of the reason why I got fucking pissed tonight is because I've been throwing elbows left and right. I'm throwing elbows right because they're acting like criminal indictments are going to be coming out of this, and I don't know of any crime that was committed. Um, and then I've been throwing elbows left because they're like, oh, this is a nothing story. Well, clearly it's not a fucking nothing story. You could say that my entire perspective is speculative. But my speculation, I'm going to say it again, is like 90% more fucking tame. Mm. You could say it's based off of bullshit and inference and all that kind of bullshit. But it's 90% more fucking tame than the rest of conservatism. Conservative fucking narrative is that the FBI and DHS reps specifically went into the Twitter offices, told them to ban and censor conservatives, told them to ban and censor the fucking Hunter Biden story, put their finger on the fucking election in order to get Trump out of office. And as a result, Trump should borderline be reinstated right now. That's some of the fucking crazy shit that's going on Twitter. So, uh, fucking hell. So, so as far as like, who am I criticizing? I don't think I'm criticizing, like I'm criticizing the fact that people are pretending that this isn't fucking happening, that people don't have aligned interest, that uh, the FBI DHS uh, reps might not be sympathetic to Biden, or the DOD or FBI might not be sympathetic to Biden, or that uh, the fucking, the, the marriage between tech and government, while explainable, is still potentially nefarious. And not only is it nefarious, but now we have a right-wing fucking lunatic who's in charge of it, and we still have the same rule set. Part of what was complained about tonight was that now uh, Elon is doing everything they accuse Twitter of. That's a fucking problem. So for me, my problem is uh, fucking progressive acting like there's no fucking, there's nothing here to even talk about, and it's fucking conservatives acting like it's the fucking uh, Holocaust. So Connor, I'm sorry, when I, I say said my that when, when, that when you're saying that, oh, I'm more tame than like 90% of conservatives on this, that's like not saying anything at all because like 90% of conservatives literally believe that Hillary Clinton eats baby brains like apples. It doesn't, it doesn't sure. fucking mean anything. Okay. Sorry. So I forgot I, say, I was uh, in a progressive space. My bad. When <laughs> I say both parties, I, I'm sorry to clarify, I'm still going back to, is your beef with law enforcement or Twitter? 
Okay. I get that you're having uh, my, issues with my, the left my, and the right. Was surrounding pretending that law enforcement wouldn't do anything. That's my beef. Okay. And then also, correct me if I'm wrong. Somebody could Google this because it's in my memory, and I I, I tried Googling it. I couldn't find the story. Weren't there like two mid-level like FBI agents who were f indicted for saying that like at all costs we can't let Trump win? And they were fucking leaking about, information like, to people. Struck? Stop. Are you about Stop. Peter Struck. So, the dude, hit it. Wait, hit it. Tell there me were, what really happened. Were, so as part of the Mueller investigation, yeah. I don't remember how this happened, uh, but there were text messages leaked God. where Peter Struck, who was an FBI agent, was talking to another FBI agent saying something mm -hmm. about how like, oh, like, um, it's so horrible that Trump is doing this. Like, we, I, they might have said something like we can't let this happen or something like that. But it was basically two people off the clock that were complaining about Donald Trump. There was no evidence that he had done anything improper. Um, he gave testimony before Congress, repeating more or less what's been said here, that he gets a piece of information, he passes it off to somebody else who looks at it and passes it off to somebody else. The idea that one agent or a group could rig something without people knowing it would be impossible. And he was removed from the Mueller investigation just because of any... Um, attempted, like, vision of impropriety. Just of the conflict the, of interest. Yeah, just, Listen, yeah. I would... I would bring up um, Clinton's fucking server shit, but Trump stealing fucking secret documents and bringing them to Mar-a-Lago like blows that out by a factor of like a thousand. So not to mention maybe. that Trump's own chief of, chief of staff, Mark Meadows, ha has and Ivanka Trump had all sorts of issues, like in terms of like um, s servers and text messages and things like that, and their cabinet right. level officials too. So. So, yeah, yeah, yeah. So, so any any of my previous criticisms of Democrats for being fucking well, the criticisms uh, can both apply. Open. I'm happy to say that it seems like Comey really <laughs> fucked up the investigation. The OGC okay. seems to agree. Can I just admit, for the sake of conciliation, by that by a matter of degree, Republicans basically roasted fucking Clinton for half a decade over this shit, and then uh, what is it? Fucking what is it? Trump basically did the worst, you know, the worst thing by fucking a factor of a thousand. Hard, hard to quantify, but certainly neither, I don't think, are forgivable. Yeah. All oh. right. Perfect. So, Also, anyways. Connor, can I just say that mm. earlier in the conversation, you, you backed mm. it off to the point that, like, you're acknowledging that, like, it's not, it was clearly not just a difference of opinion. You're like, you kept restating, like, well, this is just my opinion, you guys. We agree on 85% of everything. When earlier you were saying that anyone who disagreed with you was basically denying that the sky was blue. Okay, we've circled the in, in in reference to what fact though? Wait, I don't. In do we need to, to relitigate this entire? Just, do we really? No, we, we don't. We don't. Like we don't have to relitigate it. But basically, like, if you if you were talking about like me speculating the motivations of FBI DHS agents and Twitter shit, that's all speculative. But if you want me to f say that, like, uh, I don't know, Intel people who work in Intel are above average intelligence and all that kind of shit yeah that that's the and fucking that means sky they'll break blue. the law and risk going to fucking no okay we don't pen. need really to get it we got Literally it we're there. We're there. We're there. We're got human it. beings are complex fucking creatures we're not just individually fucking moral and we also have overriding moralities i, I don't understand how you can be human for 30 fucking years and deny that true okay all right yeah, happy Steve, birthday happy you yeah, thank you. I, uh, that's I think he's it's already not his birthday. 35th. Don't give him special treatment. No, no, it's a normal he's day celebrated now. his thirty fifth birthday. No, no, you interrupted my dick sucking. This this was supposed to be hi, Steven. I love you. Happy birthday, you piece of shit. And then it fucking oh. turned into this. Yeah, hey, I love you too, buddy. It's been fun. <laughs> hey, listen, you're welcome. Wait, for the this free is content. how you wish Thanks. somebody happy birthday? Yep. The actually, yes, I'm oh Irish. This God. is how I. No, this is how I wish somebody a happy birthday. Yeah. <laughs> Yet. Okay. Yelling at them for three hours. Based. Based. All right, cool. Okay. Anything else? Legend. Saved rounds. Be careful, baby. Sherry. You want to come back in here and make fun of the people that I saw die? If she were to we pop just... in, that would have been hilarious. No, like, that's actually, good. We're, good. Matter we're all good. Thank you. I love you so much. Okay. All right. Catch up. Bye, up. everybody. Be careful. Bye. Wow. How do you feel about that? Wow. Look, Lex Friedman's still here. That's true. I'm just happy like, we got um, to talk about the Twitter files. I feel like um, this is something I've said like a million times before, and I feel it more and more every time these issues Not pop all up. Of you. Um, great. Um, that um, it feels like a lot of people's, I don't want to say like conspiracy brain because it sounds dismissive, but like a lot of the conspiracy theories that come from people's minds, I think just come from a fundamental misunderstanding of how a lot of these agencies work, like, and, and the people in them. Because like, even if he won't say it now, like, 
I think Connor legitimately did believe that like an average analyst is like um like not like Jason Bourne, but like close to it. And then like or they're doing like the really crazy jobs in the back end with like insane information all the time. Like everybody's getting like terrorist threats about to, like when he asked that question, how much juicy information comes over like a desk every single day for like an average intel, my understanding is I understand if you don't want to directly comment, but it's like it's not that juicy. Um and regardless, there's tons of oversight. Yeah, yes, that too. That like these organizations have so many people working and then so many people looking over things and then so many like people in other agencies that might have to do, like there's just so much going on that the idea that like a little group of people could get together and like do something like this, it just requires like a fundamental misunderstanding of uh, of everything that goes on. It's, it's just a too great well, a willingness of- that Peter Strux uh, and Lisa Page, like when you're talking about the Mueller report, it's part of the reason why they, when they were discharged, it didn't compromise the veracity of the Mueller report because their contributions were constantly subject to oversight and you know verification by the other agents mm -hmm. working the report. Yeah. Um, and I'm pretty sure, like didn't Mueller investigate, like they looked into potential conflicts of interest and even though he was fired, I mean, they, they basically determined- Well, hold on, wait, wait, wait. I don't think he was fired. I think he was just removed from the special investigation. Oh, I thought he was a, he, he was eventually fired from the FBI. Was he? Okay. I thought so. Hold on, I need to look up. One second. Yeah. Hi, Aaron. Welcome back. I accidentally got out. I was just trying to say bye to Connor. I don't, like, Connor doesn't get, like, to be an armed agent of the state, you literally just need a GED. Mm -hmm. Like these, uh, these are. I don't think that's true. Red. To be a police officer? Oh, to be to be a police officer. I, I thought yeah, you meant like the way a said an armed agent of the state to like play it up or whatever. But it, like, no, it also depends. Not... It depends on the state. Like yeah. a lot of a lot of uh, like states require post training, peace officer or SS stand. I don't remember what the fucking S stands for, but it's like six to six months to two years, and, and might even require like at least an associates in criminal justice or something like that. Yeah, like they require that you have to have like a two point in Texas at least you have to have like a GED, and then if if you only have the GED, you have to go back and at least get like an associates with a two point GPA or something like that. But point being that like a lot of people in these agencies are just one, they're paper pushers, and two, they're they're undergrads and like college graduates. It's not super geniuses like you know occupying these positions for the most part yeah my ex was uh, an analyst for dod and i don't know she just said her bo job was super boring she would go in early just so she could leave early that's just what she wanted you to believe well, apparently dun, on dun, august dun, 10th dun, 2018 dun. under intense political pressure from trump and republicans in congress on the ig report fbi director david bowdick did fire struck the dismissal overruled a recommendation by the FBI Office of Professional Responsibility, whose head, Candace Will, had determined that Strzok should only be demoted and suspended for 60 days. Damn. Yeah. So did we move Connor at all? I thought, thought we had some sort of, not if not consensus, like that there was some ground gained. Um, I, I don't know. Give him a week. No, I don't it's think so. It's not reasonable to expect someone's going to move their position like that over a fortnight <sighs> oh, anyway. Oh, my God. That's why I hung in there. I was trying. <laughs> I, I feel like the differences in like figuring out like like the the chance of stuff happening is also like so different. It's like insane, but it reminds me of the uh, the election fraud where they were like, "Haha, see, the machines can be hacked." Therefore, the machines were hacked. Yeah, and every like enough to flip like all the federal. Yeah, all of this over Hunter Biden's nudes. Not even any damning information about ties between him and Ukraine. Well, His hold on. Nudes. What about the big man? <laughs> Yeah, forgetting, I forgot about that. No, I think, I mean, that's not, that's more than nothing. It is more than nothing. That is correct. <laughs> I don't want to, I don't want to hand wave the big man because it could turn out to be something. It could. It'd be nice if we could like see that anywhere, but yeah, who knows? And maybe, maybe there's information that we're not privy to. You know what I mean? Like, you know, mm -hmm. these, these investigations, we got to be a little bit patient. Well, no, like I always say, like, it's possible that something could come out, but like, you'd have to show evidence of something, anything. You just have to see yes. evidence of anything. Yeah. Plus, as much as Connor refers to it as like Twitter is the public town square, it's still a private media group. And he's basically saying that what, like, the government should compel Twitter to like host the story or whatever. Like, that's just as much of a First Amendment violation. I don't think he would make a legal argument. He'd make a moral argument. Maybe. Maybe. Okay. Um, I need to sleep. You're birthdayed out. All right, good night. Happy birthday. Yeah. I love Hold you, on. Man. Steven, yeah? I want the fucking soy bitches in your YouTube chat 
who are starting a fucking post on your Reddit already. Uh-oh. I want to make sure that when they are discussing my level of toxicity, that they address <laughs> that all the insults I got for just bringing up his fucking, his whatever, um, investigation, whatever, the shit that he was like relying on, mm-hmm. for me to get met with like rape, violence, die, death <laughs> in your ass. I want to see that shit on the subreddit, okay? Okay, gotcha. I'll make sure they're He literally it. called you like Thank a dirty you. cunt or something. Yeah, just, he's unhinged. I don't care. I might be a bit of a bitch, a bit toxic. That was unhinged. Okay. Well, uh, this is really productive okay. for me. I found 16 diamonds and made an automatic cow farm, so... Um, wow, based. Yeah, you guys have a good night and happy birthday, Stephen. Have fun, buddy, bye. Yeah. I'm on waves. <laughs> I'm on waves. Sorry, can, can you can I, uh, you send me off with a like Lex Friedman, like I don't know summation of the night? I was told he quotes at the end of his things, right? He drops a quote. Does he, Stephen? Um, so I've seen him do it before. I don't know if it's like common, but he drops the R word at the end. Stop. <laughs> oh, I I owe Aaron an apology because I called her. Uh, what's it? Uh, exhausting, and I also said that you don't let things go. But then Connor came, so I think I owe you an apology on that one. But the quote, here, I, I pulled up a quote because someone asked for this. We don't believe in apologies in this stream, remember? Love may be, or it may not, but where it is, it ought to reveal itself in its immensity. There you go. Beautiful. 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 Oh, God.